Welcome back to the third babbling with Bronco with other people. Today we are talking with a very good friend of mine. She goes by Kate Anderson. She is a photographer originally from the Bay Area and I think she's now living in Brooklyn but she does travel all the time which we go into a little bit. She's been somebody I think I've followed her for like well over a year at this point and all of her stuff is just like Oh, it's, it's beautiful. She takes great photos. So that's always been a treat every time she pops up on the timeline. And she's just like one of the nicest people I know. Uh, we've talked quite a bit on the DMs and stuff, so it was really cool to finally get face to face. It was a great conversation. We talked for, I think, like two hours or something like that. And it was really enjoyable. So I hope that you enjoy this as well. Really enjoyed her perspective a lot on things. She shoots primarily with Olympus cameras, OM1 to be more specific. And we go into this quite a bit, but I just hope you enjoy. Make sure to give her a follow on Instagram. It's KVI underscore film, I believe. I'll put the little tag up here and in the description down below. Thank you, Kate, again, for uh, helping me out with this. And I'm hoping to do some more of these in the future. So stay tuned. Um, but for now, like the video if you enjoy it. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any more of these or on more repair videos and i'll catch you on the next one I shouldn't say anything out of pocket yeah oh wait <laughs> did you want to say anything bad before no we no, started? We're good. Okay. <laughs> no no i'm i'm good uh yeah that's uh there's hunter s thompson the like journalist from mm -hmm. years ago whatever and he like had his little home base and then would just kind of go do stuff and i was like that sounds really nice if i had like a nice studio space somewhere where you yeah. just dig around and then not be there for stretches of time. I mean, fantastic. that's the move. My problem is I keep living in really expensive places. I'm yeah. Like, yeah. Why am I doing this to myself? It's an expensive home base to leave for a month. I'm like, okay, let me leave my expensive ass rent for a month. And, yeah. you know, so. Yeah. New York, San Francisco. That's pretty much the two most expensive places I think that's why it wasn't so bad moving here though because I mean I was like born and raised in the Bay Area and I've been oh, yeah. in like Berkeley Oakland for the last like eight I never lived in SF but across the bridge I was living it's still expensive but yeah. for like eight years or so and so it's like moving here I was like oh New York's so expensive I was like honestly it's pretty comparable so it's not that bad I mean either way it's bad but oh, but yeah. I'm not it's not like I'm moving from like I don't know somewhere I don't know cheaper <laughs> Des Moines or something. Des Moines, yeah. I'm coming yeah. from Kansas City or something like that. But maybe that's my next stop. Maybe I get wise and I move somewhere that's up and coming. Yeah. No. Or not. Yeah. I don't know. I have a friend in Austin I visited before like this last April. And I was like, minus the whole like Texas thing, which is a little like rough. I was like, I could I could have fun in Austin for like yeah. a year. I feel like do my yeah. little you know. It's, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you could like kind of play into the cowboy fantasy a little bit. Just wear this hat around everywhere. Exactly. That's kind of like my tin types in the little yep, studio. Yep. That's, <laughs> that's a good market there. There's someone there. There's a photo studio that does like really old style portraits like that. I don't know if they're still around, but they made a film with Jason Lee. It was like a little short film. Yeah. They just followed him around while he, while he took photos and stuff in Texas. It's like one of my favorite things. But oh, every time it. I think of Austin and photography, I'm like, oh, I would like to go and visit them because they seem like cool people. Yeah. No, it's cool. I did it. I, I, me and my friend that I was visiting, we got our tintypes done while I was there this last April. And this is guy's Lumiere tintypes. He has like a little, like, it's like in the back of this like fancy like bar. He has a little like, tiny home on wheels that's his studio it's pretty cool oh, i was like okay this is actually, i was like this is actually doable like uh, this is a small space it made it feel more tangible to me because i've been like i want to do 10 times so oh, bad yeah. i was like literally where but i got a room this size i could do it but yeah currently this room is occupied with unfortunately you know two by your plan yeah 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 this plant <laughs> yeah it takes up a lot of room yeah i say can't do anything room. else this is actually just my plant room <laughs> imagine that would be some elitism like my that greenhouse would be, that'd be the best kind of elitism though i think okay. like a greenhouse i can oh, dream yeah. yeah are you a raiders fan then if you're from the oakland area well i'm like no more of a raiders fan than i think people that aren't that into sports but 
I have, funny. I know some people that are really into creators. Yeah. They move, though. They're in Vegas now, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm into them only because like they usually used to lose all the time. Yeah. So they like, were really when bad. they win, it was like fantastic. And then when they lost, it was like the Raiders. Yeah. Really. And also just like the best color scheme in the league. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I love that. Time. I feel like I grew up kind of like an A's fan, to be honest. But that's okay. a different sport. So good I color scheme there, too. Yeah. Green and, like, and yellow. Yeah. I like that. I, don't know, I just don't like the name because it's like the what? The A's? What about the bees, you know? <laughs> yeah, like, no, it's not the most creative, but they always had the like very like kind of like sad little stadium in Oakland, which I always like to go to, you know, compared yeah. to like the like AT&T Park for the Giants, which is like unbelievable. Yeah. Um, I went to yeah. an ACDC concert there years ago and it was just like, wow, this is legit. Because the <laughs> Diamondback Stadium in Phoenix is like not good. No, not, not so good. No, I don't Ready think for so. An upgrade. Yeah, and also I just don't really like baseball too much. It feels like teen yeah. golf, you know. Yeah. No, I literally think I only liked going because it was like my dad would get like free tickets for work sometimes. Oh yeah. Because they yeah, and so he'd be like, I was like, okay, I'm gonna get some dipping dots, sit in the sun. Yeah. We'll eat before the ninth, whatever it's called. Yeah. And, and uh, what is it? Inning. Inning. Okay. Yeah. I was which like, is quarter is not right because that's four. It's <laughs> <I was> like. <laughs> <laughs> the just, ninth, I, uh, they just like made up words i think because yeah. it like that makes no sense to me i don't know I, I feel like if baseball was like a quarter of the time i would like it a lot more but it just oh, goes on forever so yeah mm-hmm. and it's just so like you're like anything gonna happen yeah, yeah. no I'm... and there's like over 100 games a season it's like <laughs> people are like i go to every game like yeah. okay that's fun, fun. <laughs> hard pass for me yeah it's either like it's like all day so you're like sweating to death getting sunburned or it goes so late that you're like at least in sf you're like freezing because it's like suddenly so cold and you're yeah. not prepared and i'm like i'm gonna go home because this is gonna last for hours yeah so, i can't even remember the last baseball game i went to so yeah, yeah. i don't get it i don't really I like live sports in general though to be honest it's no like, i don't know just doesn't do it for me so what do you prefer instead um i really like mma so i'll watch those oh, fights stuff like that it's like freaking fast paced exactly and it's like once a week that i'll watch it so it's like something to kind of look forward to yeah um and then also just kind of the idea of like mixing all these different skills and like who can utilize them in a certain situation best i think is interesting mm-hmm. and other than that I just watch a bunch of movies kind of hang out that's better i was like i don't even think i watch any sports now when i watch i think the one i enjoy watching more because i played it was rugby rugby's fun because it's like fast it's like it's like football but literally way less time and it never stops it's not like yeah. oh okay million you know it's just sort of like continuous yeah so that was fun but... i played football in high school and i was like why are we not just doing stuff it was like <laughs> you're even like come on let's go <laughs> yeah like can we get the ball rolling here like it was terrible we're like we it was yeah. like 30 seconds of work and then like two minutes of waiting <laughs> just standing around yeah just like all right do, do, do. yeah yeah no good and then i wrestled too so i really like watching wrestling but that's not anything that's on and then when you tell people like oh i like watching wrestling they assume it's like the fake stuff and it's like yeah, that yeah. doesn't do much for me yeah you're like i'd rather watch some real the real time yeah i went to a few like local wrestling shows because my buddy was getting into it and yeah i'm good <laughs> just stick with the mma <laughs> like, yeah it's just it's so i don't know there's like a bunch of like middle-aged wrestlers and stuff that were like oh. just doing it for the love of it which is really cool to see yeah and also made me like a little bit sad because it's just like we're like in <laughs> we're in this like wedding venue in the oh. middle of mesa and there's like 10 people there like spectating yeah. and it's just like yeah at that point you're like all right i guess for the love of it but <laughs> yeah i don't know read the room uh, read the room yeah that good not for them. <laughs> yeah you know just try to live live out their dreams almost. exactly i also watched dudes like leg snap in half which was pretty oh my God. gnarly like his femur or like his lower leg lower leg <laughs> yeah God. And I, was like, <laughs> and I was like ah oh really cool cool <laughs> nice awesome cool great. awesome and then oh. like it was in the middle of the match too 
so they're like trying to like pretend that he was still wrestling and he's just like laying on the ground i was like is he dead like he's just they're like dude's unwell he's like yeah this is not it. <laughs> can we just wrap like, this up half. oh yeah, no that that's brutal and then like all of the crowd like just swarmed him and stuff and i was like i don't know much about first aid but i think it's like give him space you know i think say, who's, who are like one or two people that are equipped to handle it everyone yeah. else stay back please yeah that's yeah. the last thing i want my legs snap in half and a million people just like, are like <laughs> crowding over like me a bunch of like little kids and stuff Taking too photos maybe yeah, yeah like ooh, streaming it i don't know <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> live from the wrestling match yeah exactly broken. <laughs> yeah no no, no thank. I'm good yeah Ooh. I'd rather do that in silence you know just at my own time I'll break my leg on my own time on your own time yeah that's yeah. fair totally it's the same fair. thing with sweating like I'll keep my sweating to my private <laughs> self you don't know <laughs> needs to see that okay. yeah yeah not a group activity but how's the well, weather up there it's, it's been been a really hot week it's been like in the nine like low mid 90s every day this week um today is let's see right now it's one and it is 95 degrees we've got a heat advisory it says only 34 percent humidity (laughs) humidity (laughs) but last week yeah it was like look at this it's like red nice yeah. So that's been fun. I took awesome. my dog to the park early and now I'm like, okay, I'm just staying home, editing some photos and watching some um, Criminal Minds. Very nice. Very <laughs> good. Kind of catching up. Very low key Sunday. Can't it's like, this wrong. is my one plan of the day, really. But Oh, that's honestly, that's a good day. That's a yeah. good what day. about you? It's been cool over on the, on the West Coast, right? No? Well, I guess the Bay's been cool. <laughs> yeah, that must be nice. No, it's supposed to be a really hot week. I think it's going to be like up to a hundred a few days in Portland. Yeah. Which is that's concerning. That's like, what do you have? Like, okay, wait. So there's like, this is Portland's one of these cities that's having the same thing where they're like not equipped for no, no air conditioning. So you want like a little little fan or something that you have for them? Yeah. No. And yeah, it'll be fine. (sighs) Find a, find a river to jump in or something. (laughs) That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking worst comes to worst, I'll just like take my work laptop and like go sit at a coffee shop and just like dry out a little bit. Yeah. And then return your hot house. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. But I don't the, know. The I think, yeah. Do you have air conditioning? We do. So it's just like ours. We like live in a, um, a new building that has no character, but it is, you know, newer. So that's it's good. So modern. every, you know, yeah. Every room has like one of the like, it's on here i guess it's right there like a wall one they're really oh, nice okay. actually you know in every room so you just like can turn it on for like like I'll, I'll just have to turn it on for like 10 minutes and then i'm like okay i'm freezing turn it off yeah so that's really nice but like i went to my friend's house for dinner last night and they don't have a ac they have like they have fans and i we were like they cook dinner for me <laughs> and we're like sitting in the house we're like sweating like yeah. this is brutal so i feel very fortunate in moments like that and then you're like it's cooler outside i better i should just go outside oh yeah <laughs> and also the air flow here is nicer like because there's actual wind and stuff and down in phoenix it was just like stagnant hot air mm-hmm. which is pretty tough but like we had air conditioning so that was cool yeah i guess because arizona's actually but it's been really hot the last few years right? i have a coworker there and she's like it's 115 today no big yeah. deal okay, yeah good. But at least it's dry heat, which I feel like I prefer dry heat myself. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like at a certain point, it's just miserable. <laughs> like All of it sucks. Yeah, <laughs> yes. yeah. everything's terrible. Everything's terrible. Know. It's all good. But, but are like, you, yeah, are you like happy with your move to Portland? Like, how's it been? Are you uh, missing just, Arizona at all or no? Not even <gasps> remotely, no. Yeah, I mean, hey, that's great news. That's oh, yeah. the best no, case it- scenario it was getting really bad there because like everyone from California and stuff was moving over. So like it was a lot worse traffic prices of everything was going up. And those were like the two reasons I liked Arizona because traffic was okay and everything was kind of cheap. And now it's like, all right. And it's getting hotter. If it's hotter, more expensive and busier, why would you be there? (laughs) For like, there's no, there's not a big like art scene (laughs) there either. (laughs) my roommate's dog oh Oh, what kind of dog she's hey olive oh 
that's my dog the scruffy yes. one as you've seen but yeah that's that's olive she's a cutie she's high maintenance naturally yeah my roommate's been traveling for the last month so i've been um dog sitting very fun so fun <laughs> like, such a blast no <laughs> i'm like oh she gets back i think in like four days so i'm five days so I'm happy oh jeez. and then i leave so that's good we have like no overlap these days yeah that's good where are you going i'm going to maine for a week with my family my cousin is getting married which will be fun awesome. um up in like southwest harbor i don't know how familiar you are with maine but um <laughs> it's like it's on it's a harbor so it's nice and there green and it's pretty in the summer so i'll be there for like a week it'll be nice to see my parents um because they live like in near san francisco um and then i come back for a week and then i go to the bay for two oh, wow. yes yeah, so you just you literally just kind of pop in and i know out. at least this next like next week i'll be like on the east coast still so it feels less like oh i'm leaving you know yeah right taking the train up it's not so bad oh, nice that'll be really cool I really yeah. do want to go to Maine because I've heard it's just beautiful. I highly recommend. It's like, yeah. what the heck? My, I mean, my uncle's like fancy guy. He's like really into like boats and stuff. So oh, yeah. I think you have to be if you live in Maine. Yeah, right. I mean, well, they live in Boston normally, but oh, okay. they have a nice, they've had this house in Maine for like 20 years or something, like 30 years. Um, so he has like his nice boats that are like moored out off the dock and stuff. And so it's very nice to go cruising around. It's all okay. like, um, what is it? All the like areas around there are really cool. Cause there are like really steep mountains that you like go through with the water because it's like a glacial, like whatever you call it. Like the, the like channels are like that with like mountains Interesting. because it's like from how the ice or something. So it's like really cool landscape. So, hmm. and what lobster, yeah and style stuff i don't know you should go yeah, <laughs> yeah. all i can think about when i think of maine is just like kind of flat and then water i don't know why well, that's, that's just... no i mean it's like a mix of it it's like really hilly and then there's some areas that are like very like you know little islands and stuff yeah i dig that yeah yeah i'll have to make my way out out i also ever? wanted to go uh no my folks lived in Tampa for a while. Okay. So would go that kind of east, I guess. <laughs> kind of. Southeast. Yeah. yeah, still pretty rough. But uh, yeah. I would like to get out there. I just need to, you know, plan a trip and have yeah. done that. Planning trips is kind of an ordeal. So <laughs> yeah, it is. And then like my problem is I'm a very like last second person. But I can't do that with like my job because it's like, oh, we need to have a few days notice. Oh, what do you like work? You were remote though or no? Yeah. Thank okay. God. I would not do I this job if it was in person. Ooh. They were talking about it like last September. Like, oh yeah, we'll get back in the office. I'm like, I will get a different job because I'm not doing this. <laughs> like if you move into the office, I will be moving to a new company. So yes. <laughs> I, I will do other things with my time. Because no, like, for the, real. I, I it's not it's not a fun job and like i can't imagine sitting down and working at it for a whole eight hours and then like not having cameras to work on or like not being able to do it yeah. and then also like putting on pants like mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. office attire no 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 no. <laughs> not for me <laughs> even on zoom meetings i'm like okay i'm just gonna wear my little t-shirt like who cares like good to go nobody's you know, gonna check it out exactly. yeah i'll wait to work i don't i don't care anymore yeah. <laughs> like just yeah. don't read my hat that's NSFW. <laughs> you just have um, to do one of these. You know? Yeah, one of those. No yeah, way. <laughs> yeah. Um, we have like a town hall meeting. It's like really mm -hmm. corporate phrasing. Of course. It's like, oh yeah, we'll get back to going into the office soon. And this was like a couple months ago. And I'm like, I'll just mail my stuff back. I'm good. Yeah, good. <laughs> like find something else. Yeah, we'll call it a day. But anyway. Yeah. But you've been doing a ton of camera stuff, like right outside of your work. Oh like, yeah yeah Time. yeah i've got um a desk full of cameras i need to put back together which is just so much fun uh, it's a bunch of like minoltas and nikons which are just the worst to work on so why, why are they so bad so nikons um let me see we've got the fm2 here Ooh. which is really nice mm -hmm. but each system on here is like doubly more complicated than any other camera so if, like for the olympus you got the oh, wonderful olympus that's how you do that right easy peasy wonderful. this one 
you have to slide this over and then lift up. So the idea behind that is great because it's like, oh, you don't want to accidentally open up the back of your film or whatever, yeah. because that apparently happens to people. I was like, <laughs> but this, <laughs> yeah, no, oh no, whoopsies. Uh, but this is one piece. And then there's two different pieces for the rod for the film holder. And then oh, there's gosh. a spring system underneath this for the tension. And there's a small plate that holds this in uh, this little tab in place. Yeah. And then there's another spring system that holds this in place. And then there's, yeah, there's just like a lot of <laughs> this. It is literally this piece and then a rod and that's it. And you're like, cool. <laughs> Easy peasy. Take it apart. But oh this God. just takes forever. And they have wow. like a bunch of weird issues. So it's just yeah. trying to figure out what's wrong with it and then why that thing is happening. And it's never the same answer. Of course not. <laughs> yeah. And then also like you can get two Nikons to look at be like, all right, so these parts kind of match up. But then even in the same system, so even in like an FE, the boards look completely different from model to model. There's like no through line. So it's just like, Why what, do that? Are we, what are we doing here? Oh, man. That and then sounds... Minolta's are just super cheap, like just mm. the cheapest built cameras. So they just like are prone to failure because they're consistently not wanting to work. Uh, they're like, please uh, let me die. And I'm please, like, I'm on. just, I'm begging you, let me die. <laughs> let me die. And I'm like, come You're back, like, come back. You're like reviving it every time. And he's yeah, just like, not resuscitate things on it. <laughs> yeah, it's just not, not fun. But oh, so what that's good. So I say, if I get another, get another camera, I'll stay away from Minolta. How about that? Yeah. Well, yeah. it's funny actually because my medium format camera, I mean, I use a Minolta Autocord. Yes. But I mean, that one was giving me some trouble. And my dad's like super into camera stuff. So I'll just like, help me. <laughs> yeah. He like just literally takes the like cooking oil. He's like, this thing's just not working. He fixes it in like one second. And I was oh, like, yeah. oh, I really thought I was going to have to replace my whole camera. <laughs> no, no. I think like Minolta's mechanical stuff, fantastic. Like the SRTs are great. But it's like when they started branching into electronics, they just oh, use okay. like a bunch of capacitors and those would just mm -hmm. blow randomly. So like the X700, I don't know if you know of that model, but it's that's like- a pretty popular one, right? People are yeah. like- garbage i would never ever ever tell someone to buy one or buy one for somebody like they are so bad that. okay it's like I mean, hey. they will die mid-roll like the camera will just stop working oh yeah my roommate uses it a minolta but she got it for like four dollars at a thrift oh, yeah. store or like a like a flea market but it's definitely given her some trouble in the past but yeah but she barely uses it. So I think maybe that <laughs> she uses it maybe once, once every couple months takes yeah. a few times, but probably not your like best, like workhorse camera then. It sounds like. No, I think like the, the idea behind them is good, but it's just the, they did not yeah. age well. The so. reality of them is yeah, not so Yeah. Good. Yeah. But interesting um, about the Nikon thing. Hmm. Yeah. And Nikon's again, really good cameras, just repairing them sucks. So yeah. Like, but once they're repaired then they're pretty good. good yeah yeah like the, yeah um, like the, well i have a neat neaker mat yeah how yeah. do you say it uh niker mat niker mat okay I I one know. of those that's also that's my dad it's, it's a brick though it's so heavy it's like oh, yeah. not that it's not that big <laughs> it's like the no. same size as my olympus but i'm like this literally weighs like yeah so much but. and like they're okay yeah they're like camera that's what it is it's just like camera. a camera yeah Except i noticed the thing that drives me crazy about that one which i actually was able to like i met someone that had one too and i was like am, is this a me problem but it's like this annoying thing that's like so annoying for like workflow when you're like shooting with it because like to use the internal light meter you have to like slightly like cock yep. the thing and then you have to you meter it, but it won't shutter it until you close it again. Yep. Like you have to flatten it down and you're like trying to take your picture and you're like, oh, let me like redo it. It's just like, I don't know. I, I like can't, I maybe I should shoot with it more, but. Yeah, better. there's a on off switch on. Yeah, I was just like, this. I don't know. I like the one, my Olympus, yeah, it just has a little dial on the other side. You just flip it on and then. Easy. It off. It's, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I, I could go on about like all these little design choices. I'm like. I mean, I love to hear it. I mean, it's good it? for me. I'm not that like technical, to be honest. So, yeah. or at all. So yeah. <laughs> it's like nice. I, I just, I'm like a sponge. I just like 
hear it. And I have some friends that will like ask me questions. I'm like, I'll just pair it back what I've heard from people Perfect. that like Perfect. they know what they're talking about. I and think then that's like, the best way to live, honestly. Just <laughs> like telephone of like how much can I like incorrectly pass on? <laughs> yeah. I yeah. think I'm doing okay so far, actually, but they're yeah. never that complicated of questions. But I just say phone my dad if I really have something serious. I like that. Okay. So and I your help. parents both have Hasselblads, yeah. Yeah, now they do. <laughs> yeah, they're fancy. I like, I'm like, where's mine? <laughs> yeah, seriously. Yeah, my mom got one from my dad's friend who did a ton of photography. Um, just his whole life, he did a lot of like nature photography on film. He's like at the point now where he's like, I'd be happy if I never touch another film camera again because he like did it for like the entirety of his career. Oh, yeah. Um, so he had a hostel blog that he lent my mom, I guess, you know, a permanent lender. Uh, yeah, yeah. and then my dad's like, I want one so we got my mom a new a newer one like a not newer but you know one for herself and is now using the lender so very nice I'm like maybe maybe I'll uh maybe I want one I love I love square format but like because yeah the auto cord is like six by six which I really like I don't like um I don't like six four five unless it's this way yeah I did a uh repair for the Mamiya six four five the, you like, what do you think of it well first People of all like that one, right I, I did not like the repair for it because it's it's the uh the mirror bumper is like broken so i had to like replace that and i'd never done that before and yeah. it was just kind of a stressy thing so i had to shoot a test roll through to make sure that the focus was okay yeah and not my cup of tea really yeah um i have two pentax 645s that are both like very broken i thought maybe i could oh yeah a little frankenstein uh, oh. action no it didn't work no, no. they are still oh, in the no. box in parts yeah. um mm-hmm. i'm not a huge right. fan of 645 i like the idea of it because it's like oh i get to shoot more yeah but i'm good no. I don't know. Yeah. Like, cause I'm, I'm borrowing my friend, my very wonderful, generous friend <laughs> in the Bay. He's like such a like camera loner, which is super nice. Like I yeah. love, yeah, there's like nothing better than trying out a camera before you buy one. Cause it's like so telling, but I've been using his like Veronica, I think ETRS okay. or something. Yeah. And, but my problem is like, yeah, I think I've noticed like exclusively when I shoot with like my Olympus or anything like that, I, I literally always, it's always like portrait. Like I don't take anything landscape ever. Like I hate shooting landscape. Yeah. And like the default in the six, four fives is like landscape like that. And yeah. so I'm like, I like, I'm holding it like, cause the prism, you know, and I'm holding it. It's just like, not meant for that, you know? So I'm just yeah. like, this is just not, not right. So I'm bringing it's, it back, yeah. but it's cool to try. Cause otherwise I wouldn't have known. And also it's just a beast of a camera. Oh yeah, it's so heavy. Like, <laughs> they're like awkward because they're like cube like, so it's like trying to. Oh, yeah. And I think with the auto cord and same thing with like the Mamiya C three thirty I have, it just feels so good to carry because it's just like this, and you can oh, just. And they're, I mean, mine's like really light too. Like, yeah. I remember it's just such a little boxy little thing, and it's like ergonomic, easy mm-hmm. to use, and Very yeah, cool again, it's like the six by six, so you're kind of like there's no like other way to like <laughs> yeah. hold it you know it's not like oh let me i want it to be this way this way it's yeah like, it's just okay. this is what you get yeah i and love the kind of, six by six yeah it's yeah. fun to switch it up for me because it's like yeah otherwise i'm shooting on my olympus so it's like you know you're looking at stuff in like the more six four five lens and then yeah. six, i feel like it's like completely different you could take something very similar that like feels super different just because yeah it's yeah frame totally different so i'm always like let me retake this photo but on both <laughs> yeah. see what no, i like i, I did the I same it. thing yeah I'm always doing that. I'm like 120, 35 comparison. I, oh, I yes. have fun with it because the difference can be pretty noticeable, which I like, but yeah. So better. what got you into film photography then? Uh, let's see. Well, um, I guess I got into it. Well, my, again, like I said, my parents are like super into it. My mom more in the past. Um, and then my dad, I think my grandfather passed away and then all their stuff was in storage. And then um, and like around like 2018 or something, my dad found the camera, this like Olympus and, and was like, hey, you want to try this out? And I was like living in Berkeley and I was like, sure, like no problem. And of course, like I think early days was very like, 
oh, film's expensive, like sparingly used. Like mm -hmm. I, you know, it would take me like six months to finish a role and it would be like pictures of my friends or like whatever, nothing like particularly like exciting. Right. Um, or like on a trip and I'd take a few pictures like in Death Valley, I had a lot of fun there. But I think I actually started like, which is a very common story now, like during like COVID, I was like, okay, I'm gonna like walk. I was like, I'm bored as hell. <laughs> like I'm working no. from home, I can't leave. Like I can't go anywhere. Like everyone's like you know walking around on the in the neighborhood in your mask too outside so I was like I'm just gonna like do photo walks and stuff and just like walk around and then I think I got way more into just like neighborhood street kind of stuff um yeah. which was cool and because Berkeley is like I don't know I love shooting in the East Bay I feel like there's a lot of well, I mean, obviously everybody loves cars, but there's a lot of old cars there, which is fun to practice on. There's a lot of cool houses and a lot of cool, like open space that you can like explore. So I guess 2020 is when I really got into it, but I had my Olympus since like 2018. So I have like early roles, but I look back at it and I'm like, oh, like, yeah. we don't terrible. talk about that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> which is like funny. because Yeah. I like print up most of my photos. I'm really backlogged now, but I have like, uh, you know, it's like photo albums that you like, I don't know, my parents have all our baby pictures. Oh, of yeah, them, yeah, like yeah. Three, you know, and you flip them through and you have all your little like things. I was doing it for a while where I would like print out like pretty much every photo I took, except like real duds. And then yeah. I would like, I put them in like in order, you know, and I like date them and I put a little description and where it was. And now I can like look through them and it's like crazy to look through like oh, from yeah. 2020. To, like it's like big differences, which is fun for me to like see. Oh, yeah. And it's also cool that home. you can kind of capture all those memories too. Yeah, I'm like, you know, one day I'll be like looking back and I'm like, let's look at 2020. And I got like some some ex-girlfriends in there. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Family members. I'm like, you know, <laughs> that's what you get. But it's yeah. fun to look back on. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, so long story short, my parents got me into it because interesting. I've fortunately, I think every camera that I'm shooting with was a hand-me-down from my parents because my dad has quite a he worked at like it's not a lot around anymore like gassers in san francisco for a couple of years as a big okay. like film store so he and he was really big into film when he was younger so interesting he's looking at the olympus and my mom has the auto cord which she gave me because she moved on to the hostel vlog she was like i don't need that anymore yes. <laughs> and I then my mom that. yeah and then she just mailed me her um pentax spotmatic that she got in like 1975 and that one i've been running rolls through oh you got one right oh. <laughs> well this is this is an h3 but it's the same kind of deal yeah, i love spot my, medics so my much bed. i'm all right here i'll pull it out and see how she looks i've been really liking this one though but oh yeah it's because i've been having some issues my olympus is kind of look at look what a little cutie oh yeah is that Ooh. the f let's see uh sp2 okay tight yeah like that oh yeah but the light meter doesn't work but no problem that's fine mm -hmm. it's been good practice for me to kind of just guess i have an app too that i use for my auto cord that i can yeah do practice but um what do you what app do you have i use i think it's called my light meter okay. i kind of love it because have you used that one no i use lux because it was free <laughs> oh see yeah lux for some reason my brain like does not understand it like i i can't do it but this one's fun because look it looks like that I'm oh that's kind of fun yeah i like that <laughs> It's like kind of like old school looking and it's like a much more like intuitive cost me like four bucks but oh nice use it for like the last any role of 120 any photo of 120 i've ever posted is from this so nice it works, it works. Now. if it works it works yeah if it works it works yeah so that's like i'm like it's been kind of funny using it with like with this guy because it's like usually i'm so used to my olympus like the internal one but right but it makes you realize you don't have to like change it that often usually it's not like i mean it depends what you're shooting but and like right. an afternoon walk, I'm not like adjusting it like a crazy amount. It's usually no, like, no. that kind of in the unless same the lighting's like realm. super harsh. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Unless the sun suddenly like comes out of the clouds. And I'm yeah. Like, oh. The <laughs> the light meter in those two is not really all that great, to be honest. Oh, that's it's, great. <laughs> yeah, it's better than the original one, yeah. but it's still like it's really bare bones. And then the battery that those use is just like the worst battery of all time because that was initially supposed to be a mercury battery. Oh yeah, I had to get some like alternative one. Right? Yeah, so it's like the the wine cell 1.35 volt yeah. something or another, but those things are like 10 bucks a piece. 
Yeah, I bought one. Like, test it out. <laughs> yeah, it just has like the worst fall off of any kind of battery I've ever used. Like I had one sitting in a camera overnight one time and I went in the next day to test on it was completely dead the battery was drained immediately I'm like awesome that's cool awesome ten dollars down the drain just what yeah. we like it wasn't my ten dollars it was my boss's at the time but still it was just yeah. like still. well that makes me really glad to hear actually because I was like is it worth it but that's good it's not yeah. that good anyways so. and that's, I, that's why I like the spot Maddox even like the Olympus the OM1 um K1000, stuff like that. The more mechanical stuff that you don't need to have power for just makes me a lot happier because then you get like, even like the AE one, everybody loves. But sometimes those just act up in the most weird ways. And the electronics on them are also just very old. So it's like trying to yeah. track what's wrong with it. It's a whole like, mess. <laughs> Old or and, something. Yeah. My, my friend has one of those and she was saying her light, like hers was giving her grief. She's like, I finally got it. I like finally fixed it. But like, just acts up kind of randomly oh yeah yeah it'll fun. just be like fuck you dude and just like <laughs> bounce around a bit i'm like all right cool yeah. awesome thanks no, it, nice. it reminds me because i had one of my friends was she's replacing one of her cameras because you know she took it to shop and they're like honestly you're better off just getting a new camera for the cost of what this will do but yeah i think she has like a canon a1 or something like or maybe she's a no, maybe it's an icon something though whatever but she was asking me what she should get next. And I was like, Olympus OM1 or Olympus of any, I don't know. Oh yeah. And she was like, what about the 10? And I was like, I mean, I don't really know a ton, but I was like, I think the higher the number, the more automatic they are. And I was like, and she's like, so better. And I said, no, no. I said, the 10 I think is the, more the worst better. fucking camera of is all it? time. Oh, I oh good. Okay. Cause I said, don't get the 10. I said, if it's a 10 and a one, get the one. I love the one. So I, I loathe the 10. I loathe the, <laughs> I loathe 10. the 10. We heard it here first. <laughs> oh, it is. <laughs> the worst camera of all time God, of all time okay what Not do you really. think the olympus om2 are those i good? like it a lot yeah this i is... was thinking because i want i mean that's that one right there yeah oh see because yeah. i have my own one that's kind of like she's definitely she's kind of seems like she's nearing the end of her her work with me I don't know something's just been a little off the last bit and I've changed the lenses out and I got all the light seals redone like it works but just something's just like not yeah right. you're not and so I'm like it. you know I've used this camera like intensely for the last like four years so I don't feel also it's kind of like my grandpa's like I don't it doesn't need to like work work but yeah. like, if I was to buy a new like you know SLR 35 millimeter camera I was like what am I gonna what am I gonna yeah. buy I was like, do I buy the same one? But that feels kind of funny to buy the exact same camera. Yeah. But some people. I, yeah, are, I would never do that. I would never buy. Multiples. You do have to do that, don't you? <laughs> uh, yeah, I, no, not no. me. No. Who? No. Me? <laughs> I only have one camera that I own. Yeah, definitely. Oh yeah, just one. No big deal. Yeah, <laughs> I no, mean, no judgment. I'm just wondering from you to someone that never, ever, ever buys the same camera twice. Yeah. No. <laughs> but I guess I mean you like the M1, so maybe it's worth it. Yeah, yeah. I. I like the OM1 quite a bit, but I don't know. So when people ask me like, what camera should I buy first? It's yeah. like a few things I want to make sure is like, what experience do you have? What are you looking to have with this camera? Mm -hmm. Like, what are you hoping to achieve? Yeah. Um, and then like, do you have any prior cameras? Cause for me, when I was first getting into cameras, it's like, I want to get, I had a K1000 first. And nice. so then it's like, I want to get another Pentax camera and I was working on the Emmy Supers a lot of the time so I got one of those and I like that because I can use the lenses interchangeably between the two uh, and now it's just devolved to the point where I just have so many cameras and lenses it doesn't even matter like I have yeah. random shit for it so it's fine I love um, it oh I also have this which is kind of interesting it's an oh, Olympus branded what the heck yeah what is that <laughs> So you just put it on there. Oh, what in the world? What you could do a little. Yeah, and it has oh, a wait. has a little like zoom magnifier in there, so you can like oh, that punch is in so... and get sharper focus. That's so yeah. fun. I've had <laughs> it for years, never, and I've never seen like, anything like that before. Yeah, and I was I like, oh, it. I think you'd get a kick out of it because it's Olympus, but hell yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. What? So you just kind of like go like it's like a little yeah. waste thing. Yeah, it's like a little. Uh, it's cool that you can like zoom a little. Yeah, I like that quite a bit. And you can use it on other cameras too. But yeah, you just kind of do one of those deals. Oh my gosh, yeah. how cool. I think it's easier to do it with a hat on then because sometimes I'm on my camera and I'm like, oh, I can't get yeah, it out of my brain. Like, 
Yeah, do that look. I'm like, no, no. <laughs> do it with the A1 too. It doesn't sit as well, but it still oh kind of works. It's it just fun. looks like a weird chimney kind of deal. I know. I've li- I'd never seen that, but I, it's kind of fun. It's like yeah. <laughs> one of the benefits of working at a warehouse full of camera stuff is just have a finger it. discount, you know? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. I was either like, all right, we're going to throw all the stuff away or we throw it in the back of my car. So it's like just back of, back of your car and then you throw away whatever you don't want. How about that? Exactly. exactly. One man's trash is another man's treasure. Yes. And I have a lot of trash. So a lot of trash, but also a lot of treasure. So this is true. <laughs> this is true. Uh, that's how I ended up with like, I think a thousand or so lens filters. Oh my gosh. That's, that's crazy. <laughs> that was like by far the heaviest thing I had to move to. It was just like this like, big bin of glass. What, is there all a thousand are inside of it? Yeah. That's crazy. It's a workout yeah. of the day. You're like, yeah, and was, I want to drop it. That'd be rough. Yeah. I don't know. Part of me was like, you just need to throw them all away. But I'm like, somebody could like them. Somebody could use them. So I'm like trying to hold on to them for hold somebody. Them. You should go to like yeah. a flea market. People yeah. love that kind of stuff. My friend's always buying filters at flea markets. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. So I'll take them. So cool. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of where my brain is at when it's like recommending someone a camera. It's like, what do you have? And like, what kind I mean, of... that's a very valid question. It's very yeah. like bait, like to like, what kind of camera you're like, it's a very loaded and very, you know, robust yeah. question. You could say literally anything. Yeah. <laughs> so it yeah, really just depends on a lot of those factors. Cause my brain's immediately like, all right, I'm going to recommend Spotmatics cause they're super cheap and they're super reliable it's it's just one of my favorite systems now i've been shooting with them a lot so i go there immediately but then some people don't want to have to deal with that they don't want to have to use the meter on their phone so Mm -hmm. it just kind of depends i've also been really liking the old um like early 2000s rebel xs and stuff like that because i have a bunch of ef mounts for my digital cameras and stuff Mm -hmm. so it works well on that but then also the nikon f4 is pretty tight yeah it's huge like it's about the like with the battery compartment it's about the same size as my six seven. Oh, jeez! but <laughs> it shoots up to one eight thousandth of a second shutter speed which is just stupid fast stupid fast and it has the nice removable prism so you can do yeah. cool stuff like that and they're really inexpensive like i have maybe maybe i have two f4s maybe Maybe two. <laughs> Maybe. No, that. that sounds cool, but it's hefty. hefty it's book. it is hefty, yeah. But it's like very professional. Yeah. But I think what's happening is like the F3 right now is just ludicrously expensive. I know. F4, I want one. <laughs> it's terrible. Which, like, to be fair, that's the very first Nikon camera that I've like messed around with and be like, I kind of like this. Yeah. Every other Nikon I've been like, man, I don't like how this works. I don't like this system. But, but the, the F3, F3 is like I know they're like very popular right now. Like, yeah, yeah, they're like 500 bucks for like crazy. I I think arguably they're kind of worth that maybe, but the F4s are like still super cheap because like people aren't into that style. So the demand is pretty low. So that's kind of why I bought a couple of them. So I'm thinking like as the price raises, maybe I can make a little bit of money. Yeah, you're just like, for a change. Into the F4 and you're like, okay, well, I've got two. So yeah, please buy them from me. Take my please. <laughs> please. And you can buy new cameras with that yeah. money. Yeah, seriously. Never ending cycle. <laughs> it's it's so it's so bad. I need to stop. I need to stay off of Are you though. I don't eBay. know. Are you a lot on eBay all the time? Is that where you buy them? Yeah. I like I I don't even just go on eBay. I go on like the just the sewers of eBay, the four parts of repair cheapest to like lowest to highest price cool. you can actually do something with those uh for parts yeah. i'm out here like i don't want that <laughs> no no i think I that's working <laughs> that's the very that's a smart way to go about it because then you don't end up with a bunch of garbage like i do so yeah you're like i guess it's summer for parts and not quite repairable so <laughs> yeah so yeah i don't know i would say the om2 is pretty tight um i think the om4 let me double check that because I really liked one of the later ones. The OM10 yeah. is garbage. Oh dear. So <laughs> just saying in your face. <laughs> Speechless. 
Yeah. So you know how like in every Olympus camera, the shutter speed dial is like on the lens. Yeah. The UM10 is a detachable shutter speed dial on the front here. What? It is the dumbest thing ever. Why? And then, I don't know. I don't know. My <laughs> don't boss know. was like, uh, yeah, we don't need to sell them with that. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I think we need to. Like, because like, oh. otherwise you just have auto and bulb. Like, those are the only two. Oh. Like, and options. auto's, yeah, not too flexible. So, auto's not even that great on those systems. So, it's like, I don't know, man. And he's like, oh, no, it should be fine. I'm like, I don't think it's fine. Like my my conscience is saying I can't <laughs> yeah. sell without the yeah. And he was like, "Well, we only have like two hundred of these dials." I'm like, "All right, cool. So we can start getting rid of them then with the cameras that they need to go with because like they're not useful for literally anything else." He's like, "Yeah, I don't know. It was a whole thing. A whole thing. Oh gosh, yeah. So no ten. That's crazy. That's such a random like. I like that it's on the the barrel for the yeah. all one because I feel like I." I because the, the spot mag, I mean, not like I, I mean, I just started using it, but you have to do it on the, on the top. And for yeah. some reason it feels less, I don't know. It's, I mean, maybe it'll be easier now. And I mean, not using the internal light meter, but with the internal light meter, it's nice to just sort of like. Yeah. Shift and especially and when you like have see what's going on and your aperture around. control is up there too. So it's like all of the things you can adjust. And it was literally like, I do one by accident. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> Wrong yeah. one. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I like, I like that. The only issue I have with it, though, is uh, when I was shooting with the MX, which I was shooting with for a while, it has a little aperture preview window, mm. so you can see what aperture you're shooting at. It also has a little dial, so you can see the shutter speed. So if you're looking through the viewfinder, you're like, okay, these are my settings. Yeah. But like with the Olympus, you don't know what shutter speed you're shooting at unless okay. you like look. <laughs> You put it down, you're like, okay, I think it's yeah. gonna be 250. And then and then inside, I just am like, okay, we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> and if you're that. like, if you use your brain, I'm sure it's a lot easier, but I just don't do that often. So Me I'm just either. like <laughs> I just like think? open it around, I say, let's see what comes out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You fuck around and yeah. find out. That is fuck my around. photography to a T. Fuck around and find out. Well, see, now I'm trying to with the spotmatic, I'm out here trying to like guesstimate what I should have it set at. So I'm having to use my brain a little more yeah we'll yeah see. so did you didn't do any like photography classes in high school or anything like that no i wasn't that into yeah i mean i was big i was a big sports girl back then which is weird so not my current vibe but nice. uh i was just i was doing that shit all the time <laughs> and not my sister did a, did a photography class i wish i had because my sister got to do like cool dark room stuff which i've yeah. never done um but no Literally only got into like photography stuff like 2018. Interesting. Late bloomer. Yeah. I know. I mean, I liked taking pictures. I remember I had my like little like digital camera. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. Trash pics with. But, uh, no, those are the yeah. most fun though, I think. Oh my God. Yeah. I remember being like so excited about it. And then you're like, the quality is like, I see pictures it's from just, like homecoming dance, yeah. you know, from it's just great. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, this is actually trash. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't know why anyone <laughs> paid for this, but I was so joked about it i was like i want it in pink and this is gonna be it and it's gonna be amazing bring it to my sleepover so i found yeah. it not that long ago but you should use it that's the uh the new trend that's, that's coming back right people are like i'm gonna do like the oh, yeah. stuff so i'm gonna be honest like i don't want to be that guy be that but guy. i'm gonna be that guy really quickly because like when i went to scotland in 2019 i think it was mm -hmm. i had this little like camera i got from goodwill it was like a little like canon power shot piece of garbage like two oh. megapixel yes. and i recorded a bunch of videos on it and i like edited them together and stuff and now everybody's doing that i'm like come on come on, come that on. Was me. I know, you really beat him to the punch on that one you're like yeah. setter. but it's fine i'm not mad about it it's just like oh, not mad at all no, Go ahead and post it. have you shared it ever or no yeah, post up on Instagram and stuff, and people. Oh, like I'm gonna it, go but... find it later. <laughs> I want to yeah. go on that. And what do you got, use um, to edit your videos? DaVinci. DaVinci. Yeah, DaVinci Resolve. It's free. Oh. And it is. Oh, I'm really gonna write that down because I just got back some Super 8 film Ooh. that I filmed last summer. 
very fun and oh that's right yeah you shot that I totally forgot about that yeah I mean forever ago though um Da Vinci okay and well yeah I mean I edited a little on my like phone with like some free thing but I was like this is not great and no. I need to edit it a lot because of course it it's a lot of a lot of my ex yes (laughs) I'm like I'm like I don't know if I really want to share all of this stuff so I'm like I need to really cut and cut and whatever so but then I also yeah yeah that's the curse of I shot way too much 16 millimeter of my ex and it was just like oof and it was like it sucked because I shot it and then I got it developed and it was like a test roll that I shot through my scoopic yeah and then like as soon as I got it back she was like, oh, I don't think we should like go out anymore. And I was like, that's fine. It's just spent like a lot of money on this thing, but that's okay. That's totally that's fair. That's okay, not the test roll. Yeah, mine was I'm like- I'm happy with this. Oh <laughs> yeah. Mine was like, I took forever. Like I shot it last August um, when I was in Maine and like mm-hmm. New York um, and then, and like home in the Bay a little bit. And I just had been like sitting on it because I hadn't like fully finished it, but I've been sitting on it for like, yeah, now almost, almost a year. And I yeah. finally was like, I have to send it out. And I mean, we've been broken up now since like December. So it's not so bad. Like I watched it, but I was like, damn, this shit's nostalgic. <laughs> I was like, yeah. This is, I guess, the point of Super 8. I was like, I was like, I almost want to share the whole thing because it's very like, you know, I was like, artsy. Yeah. Yeah. Art is pain. What can you say? I'm documenting my uh, you know. <laughs> I was like, I, I was like, I don't think I'll share it yet. <laughs> I'll no, edit some no. stuff out. But uh yeah, I sent it to her and she was like, that was hard to watch. <laughs> yeah Oof, yeah Oof. yeah what you gonna do so yeah. yeah I cut together the stuff for my ex and sent it to her and like I still think this looks really good she's like yeah I like this cool and then that was like the last time we talked that was it. it's perfect awesome. easy have you Clean shot break. more since then or what yeah so I just shot uh it's like June like mid-June had a uh black and white film competition for Orwo which is like the German film company yeah so shot three rolls of that just got that back in 16 Mm -hmm. millimeter and I need to edit that because the deadline for the competition was supposed to be August but now I guess it's like November oh I was kind of hoping it'd be August because it's like I need that pressure oh yeah November oh yeah so now it's like I got time so it's like fucking you're still it's gonna be like October and you're like oh shit I have to (laughs) yeah which is like because I shot another short film like three years ago four years ago now I think and had it I sent it to the guy who was gonna edit it he didn't touch it at all and then a few years after that I was like just give me the drive back and then I'll work on it and I literally pulled up his open project file and he had like five two second clips on the timeline and that was it i was like all right cool so oh. then i cut the whole thing together and now it's like it just needs the titles done or something okay. like very small amount of work that i could just do yeah. and i'm just like nah i'll just, eh. <laughs> I'll just do something. yeah exactly i just never think to just sit down and finish it you know and that's the only reason i still have a premiere subscription is because that project's on premiere oh my god and so it's you're so stupid your subscription until just for this thing up. that i'm not even done with it's so dumb oh like it is Dutch. yeah and then my is buddy that a was just like, or no this is not the number this is something no not this was just like a short film that i shot for fun oh so you have no deadline except yeah. when you want to work on it yeah. i wonder what'll is, be what gives you that push to finally do it I keep thinking it's like, well, when I get my desk cleaned off of all these projects, then maybe that'll be good. But I get more projects in than I get finished. So it's like, that's not going to happen. That's like, so yeah, when my desk clear? Yeah. yeah, you know. Nothing but projects coming in. Yeah, it's <laughs> Multiple terrible. Multiple things overlapping on your desk at once. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what's happening. I've got like all these cameras from this uh, Hawaiian camera store. He oh. sent in like four Nikons and Minolta. He's like, fix these. And I'm just like, all right, cool. And then I got Love another it. camera store who sent me in a bunch of stuff. I have a six seven that's just dead, like a Pentax six seven. I'm like, I've never worked on one of these before, and I'm kind of terrified too because like I could fuck yeah. this up, and it would cost me a lot of money to do, and I don't want to mess with that. But got to yeah. deal with that. Oh, but it's fine. Gonna, it's fun. You'll it's you'll fun. rock it. The six yeah. seven that'll be you know sounds like you can figure it out. You're yeah. talented at what you do yeah you know i'm very talented in the art of bullshittery so that is 
Hey, that's good. half the battle. It gives exactly. me anything with confidence. You don't exactly. need to do it. I'm like, be oh, done. camera king over here. You're yeah. <laughs> repairing everything. Yeah, I, I do it all, really. I also have a, a Nikon Super 8 that I really want to get fixed up so I can shoot a test roll through because I've not shot Super 8 in a while, but it's just, it's expensive. Yeah. Yeah. That seems yeah. just like the overall theme with Super 8 is it's, uh, getting cheap the cameras because I bought a, I bought like two before getting a third one that worked and yeah. like tried I had a friend that like tried to fix one of them and like just like wasn't happening and I was like this is just not worth my like I'm just gonna try another one. Oh yeah but I got a random ass bell and howl like something Perfect. yeah it works you know like I won't complain I'm not trying to make like the short film of the year so oh no no it's just something to like capture memories with but yeah. the problem with it is like the quality of Super 8 is so low and the price is so high. And it's just like. Yeah, but it's for the aesthetics, aesthetics over everything. Yes, <laughs> You're like, yes. I need this like poor quality video just right. because the vibes are so good. The you know? vibes, it's for the vibes. <laughs> All the vibes. Mom, you don't get it. It's not a phase. Get it's, it. the <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's true. The quality is like so rough, but yeah. it's just. Something but that's okay that's why i would it. like to shoot 16 millimeter because the quality is like a lot better i mm -hmm. think and it's roughly the same cost a little bit more expensive yeah but the problem with it is like the scoopic is just so large you have to kind of lug that around everywhere but yeah it's like, worth it it's worth it you think yeah i think like the black and white stuff i got back is just like <clears throat> really good for like so my friend flew up from Phoenix and she's mm -hmm. the one that works in the leather tin type shop or whatever. Yeah. So I'll shoot you their information afterwards. Sure. But, um, she flew up here and we we're going to shoot this film. I had no fucking clue what it was going to be about yet. I had like a yeah. rough idea, but not much of one. I was yeah. just like, I like your face. It works well with light. So let's make this happen. So let's do it. Let's just do it. Film your face. So got that kind of done. Getting the footage back, it looks just phenomenal. Oh, yeah. And now I'm like trying to kind of piece together what the story is going to actually be, which oh, is the most amount of fun. Yeah. Wait, so you like film just a ton of different like scenes of yep. person, and then you're going to like create a story out of all those yeah oh, that's when my art degree really comes in oh yeah the narrative storytelling that's yeah cool. yeah so th that was pretty cool uh typically I like going in to projects with like scripts and things mm -hmm. but the last like few months like since I moved up here it's just been like really chaotic trying to get settled and then also get all my work done all yeah that, all that good fun stuff so uh, or being an adult like I didn't sign up for this terrible why can't we just work on our fun art projects all the time I know. <laughs> it's terrible absolutely well, terrible. yeah it is but that's cool that you were doing 16 millimeter yeah yeah maybe i'll maybe i'll do another i'll probably do another roll of super eight because i have one in my in my fridge that's just been sitting in there do it definitely like last summer i was like i'm going up to maine next week maybe i'll just do a part two you and sure? then you see definitely. i'll probably i'm going to um Lake Tahoe at the end of August with my family. So oh, like that. water just is so good on, on super eight. My dad is like, I filmed some at like the pool on the, the test roll. And I'm like, mm -hmm. Oof. my dad, even he called me, he's like pools on super eight. It's like, that's why he's like, that's probably why half the footage you see of super eight is people in water. Cause it looks so good. Oh on, yeah. Oh on yeah. Belly me. I, yeah, I love, I went to a lake to shoot some super eight. And I was just like, yeah that's good that is <laughs> <That's> good <laughs> Good stuff we we mm -hmm. like that we like to see that yeah no. and then also shooting um i took the 60 millimeter up the coast mm -hmm. two years ago i think when i went up there and it was shooting on the way back and just like the sunsets fantastic so good just the oh, yeah. oh, got some like waves crashing in slow motion i'm like yeah <sighs> Oh yeah. my God, that's going to yeah. be nice. <laughs> I did it. I've done it. I've uh, done it and I did it. No, but yeah, all. black and white, that was the first time I shot on 16 millimeter. And I definitely like that a bunch too. Yeah. Uh, there's a movie called Porto. It's with uh, Anton Yelchin and 
someone else that's kind of famous this is like right before he died but that film was shot on 35 millimeter film Ooh. 16 and super 8 oh wow so i definitely recommend that also it's just a really good movie yeah oh, i just wrote it down so <laughs> but yeah let me know what you think because like, i love seeing just the different films yeah so you can tell i'm sure like when oh, it yeah. switches around that's really cool though, to have all of that in one thing it's not like oh yeah I'm stuck with one and did it you can see the difference yeah and it's like they all kind of have a different feeling to them if that mm-hmm. makes sense it's yeah. like each one is used in a different context which i dig it's like an actual creative decision not just like oh look at this cool thing we can now do it's like, yeah yeah yeah. It's like these scenes are going to be on 16 because it's a different vibe than exactly. our little dreamy yeah. scene on a you know, millimeter. <laughs> oh, and the, the Super 8 shots are like super grainy and beautiful. Love like it. it's like it's running through a field or something like that. Just like it's oh, got like a, wave. it's a time lapse of the sunrise on Super oh, 8. What? And for the longest time, I was like, how did they do that? And then I got in a camera at the old shop I was working at, and it was a old Minolta Super 8 that actually had a time lapse feature on the camera. Oh. I didn't even know that was a thing. So that's crazy. Does that yeah. mean it eats up like a ton of film? No. So it no. Let me think. Because it, what it would do would be like over the course of an hour or whatever, it like winds up and it would just do single shots. Oh, that's right. And then over the like- course of time, yeah. I was like time lapse. I was like, that's not slow mo. That's time lapse. I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> My yeah. brain's like, how do you do that? On, on super eight. I, it's I really understand. weird. It is. It's a really weird mechanism. And then there's the the Canon five fourteen XL has like a self timer oh. on it. So like you wind it up for a certain amount of frames or seconds or whatever, yeah. and then you start it, and then it'll like wait. You can like run into the frame or whatever, and then it will shoot a little bit, and that's it. Oh that's sick yeah it's a very weird little things you don't think about you're like oh that actually kind of makes sense but i feel like there's a better way to do that <laughs> yeah, you're like, mm, maybe i don't know how but yeah, i don't know i don't know how but there could be exactly yeah what is your favorite kind of film oh, to like, shoot like film stock i'm just curious great question yes. um i guess to be honest on 35 i really I love me some Ultramax 400. Like, oh yeah, I don't know. You know, it's like a classic Kodak Gold. Like, I love, and I think, I think I started liking Gold less in the last little while, just because I was having some issues with my Olympus that just they weren't coming out quite how I've had Gold rolls come out mm-hmm. previously. But overall, I think Ultramax is my fave. And then, but for um, for medium format, I really have been loving portrait 800 interesting i don't know someone recommended to me um when i went to maine last summer um and he was like try it i hear he's like i shot my first roll when i was like out camping like late summer super green like it came out like really nice and i shot these wrote this roll up in maine and it's like you know late afternoon greens and it came out like so good i was like i love this so i shot a lot of that also recently in Mexico, which came out really good. So I'm not a huge like Portra 400 girl, to be honest. I shoot it kind of regularly on my autocord just because I feel like it's more flexible. Yeah. I feel like the 800 would be. Um, but yeah, I think those are usually my, I, I've never liked for some reason, whenever I do Portra 400 on my Olympus, I hate it. I, I hated it every time. I'm I, like, this yeah. is trash. I feel like I don't know if it's me, but like it's never come out good. It's like green or something, kind of yeah. like really like not not well. Yeah, I shot 800 portrait 800 35 millimeter. Hated it. Didn't hated like it. how it came out at all. Like yeah. I think I was supposed to not shoot it at box speed. It just the colors were like super muddy and stuff, and oh. just didn't really like how the look. And then yeah. like the same thing with 400. And now like I'm in this like group chat with photographers in the Portland area here and they like are all into the vibes. So like Cinestill, Portra, it's just like, Uh, which is perfectly fine. Expensive vibes. Yeah, very expensive vibes. It's all expensive. I'm just like, "Ah, I don't know, man, not for me. Like I- What do you usually shoot then? What's your like go-to? Oh, that's good. So for medium format, I really like Ektar. Actar 100 that's like 
I think I like choice. it more on medium format than, than 35. Yeah, I don't really like it on 35 millimeter that much. Mm -hmm. um, but then also I've got like a few rolls of Portra 160 VC, oh. which is like the old Portra. And that's yeah. 220. So it's like double the rolls. Oh. And that is just the yeah. tits to me. It's so good. It's <laughs> so good. Yeah. Um, Oh and gosh. then I've been shooting a lot more like black and white just because I can develop with that at home. And right now I've just been shooting like all of like the random cameras I've accumulated so I can yeah. hopefully sell them <laughs> and not have so many. Hopefully quadruple cross. Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> so I've not really been like shooting for fun as much as yeah. I would like to. Yeah. But I really like Fuji C200. I dig that yeah. quite a bit. The classic. And then let's see what else i don't know i don't really think about yeah. it too much i just whatever i have on hand you whatever you have yeah, yeah no i i got when my when my dad got my mom that awesome lodge for christmas this last time he got it in some like lot that it like came with like a ton of expired film in it and mm -hmm. my mom's like i don't shoot expired film like i'm not interested so i got it and he's like here you go but i got this i've been really liking the what is it fuji Rila 100 yeah oh yeah Sick. it's like it's from like 2006 i have like no idea when how it's been you know where it's oh, been yeah. from the last until my dad got it but i've shot like two rolls of it so far um and it's so good <laughs> so I've, i have like two left and i'm like oh like i don't want to use it unless it's, it's good though i like i like yeah. real a bunch and then there's sensia which mm -hmm. you might get a kick out of because it just comes out pink oh that like heck? And you can like adjust it so it doesn't look as pink, but like yeah. I'll send you some shots I took of it because it is yeah, just please. pink. Um, I have a cool. few rolls of that. So if you'd like, I can mail that to yeah. you. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, let me send me, send me some of your shots of that. I'd love to see that. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then I shot Lomo Purple not too long ago. Oh, I did like a that. little Lomo photo walk here. Yeah. And I got like two shots of that. I'm like, oh, this is actually pretty nice. But then for the most part, like, I just don't really like this film that don't much. Don't like it. It's a I know, little it's too funny gimmicky. Yeah, I haven't tried it. At, yeah, the, I feel like I haven't done much with like the like color stuff. Like that's like, you know, like little purple or whatever. But I know yeah. like um, my friend Jimmy here. You know Jimmy Alverson on Instagram? No. In Brooklyn. I love love him he's become a good friend <laughs> yeah the film instagram here but he shoots like tons of lomo 800 um, yeah. on 35 and i mean i love his stuff i was like i want to try that more <laughs> so <laughs> yeah i was shooting lomo 800 i just got a roll back from that and it is very you like good. it yeah but Maybe it's I'll also just it it's recanned um kodak film oh so which mm -hmm. kodak 800 is still pretty good so there's no qualms about that but yeah it's yeah just something to kind of bear in mind, I suppose. Yeah, it used to be a lot cheaper, but now it's not. <laughs> I remember I was going to order some and then I looked and I was like, oh, never mind. Yeah, it's, it's like 40 thing. bucks for three rolls. It's just, <sighs> all right, here. what are we, what are we doing here? What's, I know, what's I the know. What are we... <laughs> Don't even get me started on Color Plus. I, there was a, like oh, a shit. cube of five that was being sold for $88. I'm like, <gasps> what do we who are we that this yeah, is you get it for like five bucks like yeah it used to be two dollars it was two dollars a roll like 80 bucks for five. Oh, yeah. that's like and it's like it's not robbery. good film like it's not the very whole point good right film. it's just like oh easy you know throw it in yeah. oh. terrible but i think this is a random thought that i've had because i shoot with a lot of expired film because i mm -hmm. think a lot of expired fuji film lasts a lot better because Kodak kind of had like a grip on the American film market so people like average Joe Schmo whatever was buying up Kodak film but like the professionals would buy Fuji film because like by and large it's better so they usually would store it better in my mind they treat their cameras like shit but they would store their film well there we so go. I think it lasts a little bit longer than like expired Kodak film from that same time period. Okay. That's okay. just my thought. I feel like it's some, well, no, that's super interesting. Cause yeah, I don't shoot a ton of expired film myself. I think I had yeah. like a few where I tried it and then it was just like shit. Yeah. And yeah. 
And then it made me feel discouraged. And I was like, I don't like this feeling. I was yes. like, I that like, is a smart reaction. I'm not yeah. that way. You're like, cool. All right. Now on to the next one. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. I think it just takes me a while sometimes to finish a role. So then you're like, oh, there's some ones I'm really excited for. And then it comes out and you're like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. <laughs> like, oh man, there's my like 15 bucks down the drain. But I guess that's that's film for you. That, yeah. yeah, that's kind of the the gamble. But yeah, yeah. I don't know. I, I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm just like, oh, maybe this will turn out. But I also have like a lot of expired film that I've just been sitting on. So well, it's fun like, too if you have a lot of cameras that you're like running stuff through to see. Because yeah. then it's like you don't really want to use like fresh, I don't know, full price film that you bought on maybe like to see if the focus is working on a camera. Yeah. You kind of experiment if it comes yeah. out right. I will say though, like there's some black and white film that's like super cheap. So I just like buy in bulk a bunch of that and we'll like rip through that pretty easily. But it's yeah. so like it's weird because I like you don't like I'm not feeling anything on taking the photos I'm just like it's so clinical if that makes yeah. sense so it's yeah, a very yeah. different experience from like I'm gonna go out and take some cool photos it's just like yeah all right so you're I'm just saying gonna... you haven't done that in a while so when are you gonna like you need some inspiration to go and do something yeah yeah I'm going up to Washington at the end of this week to visit okay. with my friends so I'm thinking that'll be kind of nice just to get out a little bit. Yeah, you need to shoot for pleasure. Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I'm just like thinking about the cameras that I have right now. I'm like, there's a few that I'm like pretty excited to shoot with. Like the H3, I'm like super stoked for every time yeah. I go out with that. But like I got the Pentax 6.7. I was like, this will be a great thing. And I just, it does nothing for me. Yeah, yeah. why? Why do you think so? it's so large first of all yeah. the lens is fantastic i've got the 55 on there so it's like mm -hmm. a pretty wide lens there's not a lot of distortion but it's kind of like one of those things where if i'm bringing that i'm not going to bring another camera because it's just so big you For only sure. get 10 shots and with my luck maybe one of those will be okay <laughs> so it's like <laughs> yeah it's like kind of like the yeah those yeah. Are, like i have my friend who he's lending me to bronica he was saying he he got a six pentax six seven for a while um and he was like you know hoped he was, thought he was gonna love it but he's like i like had bruises on my ribs from like carrying it around like it's just like yeah. not portable enough for me which is super real like i guess it really all just depends on what you're shooting like if you are like just gonna go like i don't know if it's like a single camera that works for you and like you want to lug it around like fine yeah. but or like maybe just like to have to bring around it's probably not the most ideal yeah so then i was thinking oh well maybe it's a good like studio camera but even then i don't think it is that way because the focus screen is really dark oh really so it's like hard to really get sharp focus with a wider lens too it's oh. hard to get focus with that anyways so it just feels like I'm not sure really how to use it. Mm -hmm. So I don't think about it. Yeah, you're like out in the field is really heavy and bulky. Yeah, yeah. And then in the studio, too dark. So you're like, hmm. It's just, yeah. Them. And like I'm a larger person. So it's not like I can, I can hold on to it easily enough. That's not a huge yeah. deal. But like I would just rather not, you know, there's just other cameras that I'd rather yeah. bring out with me. Sure. So I just, I don't quite get it. But then maybe I'm thinking too, it's like, if I force myself to just use that, you know, really limit myself to just that one system, maybe I would like it more, but. Mm -hmm. Then why limit yourself? <laughs> yeah, I think my problem though is I have so many options. So it's yeah. like, my brain is like constant, like I get stressed out sometimes. Cause I'm like, oh, what camera am I gonna bring on this trip? And then it's just like, I devolve into that. And it's just like, there's so many more things like, I need to make sure I pack underwear, but instead I'm like, oh, but what lens should I bring? Priorities. Which yeah, exactly. lens am I going to bring? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, which cameras to bring? And it's a real question. because I mean, I don't like to be limited by just one because, I don't know, different results from different ones. So it's nice yeah. to have options. But I guess with the 6.7, it's a great camera. So the Pentax. So I guess it's probably, you could use it for a wide variety of things. But yeah. I don't know. I, I like, I want to like it, but I just, it's okay I'm thinking about judgment sizing here. everything. So it's like, I don't need to have five medium format cameras. I'll probably just keep the Mamiya and call it a day, but yeah, I don't know. I, I think about those things quite a bit.
Yeah, I mean, but I do like the canonettes too quite yeah. a bit. Yeah. I'm oh yeah, those are one of those. Those are petite, right? They're like yeah. They're range finders, right? Yeah. I guess. My friend has one and she's carrying it. And I was like, I really like that. Yeah, they're really like um they're really nice looking. I like yeah, I'm a big fan. I have too many of them, but I do like them. <laughs> too many. I've never shot with a rangefinder. I feel like I like do you feel like you get better at knowing the distance of like things? I just feel like I my, my brain is like again too much brain power for me. I'm like, how far away from me is that? Oh yeah. Just like oh, this looks fine. Yeah. The problem too with the focus patch in these is like not the brightest thing in the world. So like trying to nail that can be difficult. And then also like I'm just so shitty at getting focused sometimes too. So it's just yeah. like yeah, it's a crap shoot at that point. Yeah. You're like, let's hope for the best on that. And, uh, the other thing too I don't like about this is like the default speed is like one thirtieth of a second. Okay. Uh, which is fine, except I drink a lot of coffee, so I got like a little bit of a shake every now and again. So and like, one like, thirtieth is like the lowest that I'll go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Reliably. Without getting a little bit of a like yeah. blur in there from yeah. your shaky hands. Yeah. <laughs> Too many so, coffee. Speed. It's, yeah. it's pretty bad. But then I took out a QL17 a couple of weeks ago on a little photo walk. And it was weird because it was like, I don't know how the, the shutter system works. It has to be like just the right amount of pressure applied. And it would like inconsistently do that for whatever reason. It's working perfectly fine now. And it was working perfectly fine before the walk. But like on the walk, it would be like every now and again, it just wouldn't fire when I press the button. So I have a lot of shots where I was just like, just so <laughs> like Neanderthal you. pressing oh, the button. Oh god, yeah, you're like, I swear this thing works. <laughs> yeah, and then like the sh I got the the frames back, and it's just like, looks like somebody <laughs> had like a seizure mid exposure, and it's just like Take god. the camera around. Oh yeah, I don't know. I, the, the like shutter thing. I've been having. I don't know what, if it's me, but like, so I use Veronica. It's like I set up my shot, you know, and then like uh, the first frame I'm taking since I'm doing my walk, uh, you know, it's wound up ready to go. And I like take the dark side out and I focus and I'm like pressing the shutter button. And, like nothing happens. Nice. And I'm like, what, like, what, what do you want? And I just kind of like fiddle around and move a few things and then just keep trying. And eventually it just like decides to fire. And I'm like, yeah. okay, like, I don't know what awesome. I did. Like, yeah. like, what is this? I'm like waiting, like trying, and I'm also, you know, holding it hella weird because it's not meant to be like the tall way. Yeah. And I'm like, this is just so, but yeah. yeah it just like working. adds to the frustration of the experience. Cause it's just like, ah. it's like what am I doing? And then, and then it's fires. And I'm like, I don't know what I just did that made that work. Like, yeah. You can't replicate it. It just happened. It it fired when it the best every fire. time. Yeah. Or it's like when I like set up a shot and then I realize I forgot to even like, you know, wind forward. And I'm like, oh, okay, one second, everyone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hold up. Yeah. Hold That's, on. The Bronica that I have is like kind of like that where if you don't charge the uh the film back or whatever, then the rest of the camera won't work. And sometimes I won't do that. And it's just like there has to be a better way. There has, it has to be. Yeah. Please, please tell me there's a better way. Yeah. It's the same thing know. with like the RB, RZ, 67s and stuff. Every, like, not everybody, but most people like love them and stuff. I'm like, how and why? Do you, how are you okay? Why? Do you, are you good? Yeah. I have never used one, but they seem, I mean, they make great photos. I'll say that. But yeah. I just feel like if I'm feeling like the Bronica is like too hefty for me, I can't even imagine. Like, it's just like, huge and like yeah. how do you carry that i don't know yeah. i am firmly of the belief that you can take a good photo with any camera system i love that love so it. like when people are like oh you have to have anyone this. red flag red flag yeah. all around you get have out of here have. okay sure, sure i mean like if it makes you happy to use that more power to you but yeah. i think when you should start like limiting somebody's abilities based on like the technology that they have it just it's just yeah. foolish to me because I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It's weird kind of gatekeeping thing that kind of bothers me. For sure. I mean, yeah, there would be a lot of that out there. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I think it's just like a insecurity thing too. They're like, well, I, I have this camera. So now that I have it, this is the only camera you can have to shoot photos with. Yeah, it's, like, it's expensive and, and people that are really talented and famous use it. So it must yeah. be 
high quality. Yeah, but I'm out here wanting a Hasselblad so bad. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. But, I mean, it's just shit, objectively want... great though, right? Oh yeah. I mean, I want one too because like <laughs> that just seems like a camera. All right, I've got it. I've won. Yeah, you've won the like camera sweepstakes. I feel like the Hasselblad. It seems like it's like unassuming yet incredible. It's, yes, it's minding its own business. My dad's like because he borrowed um before he got one. He was borrowing my mom's in like a photo club, you know, in mm -hmm. their town, in their city, whatever. And she like was borrowing like uh, this guy's like Mamiya Seven. Yeah. um and my dad used it he was like it's plastic he was like i hated using it i couldn't yeah. i didn't want to finish the roll he's like i want i want the hospital it's a machine and it's beautiful and it works and the shutter sounds incredible and yeah. i was like you're right you got me there and yeah. it's also smaller my it's like oh the glass is so good it's a little deal yeah it's like a good one but i like look through like to see the comparison of like looking through the viewfinder of like my auto cord compared to the glass in the hospital i'm like these are like unbelievably different it's yep. like so bright half the time i'm like am i focused like i don't know <laughs> hopefully this comes out good you know I'm yeah head, exactly but, but yeah so maybe i'll just save all my money yeah on one day i think that's that's kind of the move uh i i definitely agree with your dad is he doing anything later can we hang out can we be friends <laughs> i'll give you his number I, he's down i think he's awesome. friends he just retired so i'm sure Perfect. he's got nothing to do time if you like Perfect. fishing he'll take you out on the boat <laughs> oh yeah I, lo I love fishing um i don't know what i would do if i caught a fish but i love the idea he'll of take fishing. care of it you just yeah. I, I mean what I, I fish and i'm like ah, I got one. And he pulls out he does the rest you know <laughs> that's the best kind <laughs> then. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> uh but yeah I, that's something that really bothers me like it's I've shot so many cameras over the course of my life now it's absolutely insane but it's like one of those things where like my nitpicks with systems are like so minute like yeah. the things that bother me about it like for the longest time I didn't like the MX because the advance felt kind of weird mm -hmm. and it felt weird because a lot of the times the advance linkage with the mirror box like got disconnected so yeah you're like constantly waiting for it to misfire and it doesn't feel like satisfactory to advance and fire it so like also in the back of my mind i'm assuming that it's going to stop working yeah at some point. so Not that, good to have in the back of your head <laughs> yeah exactly so it's like for the longest time that didn't like i didn't like that system and then i started using it more i was like okay i actually kind of like this or like the ae1s for instance i know exactly how that's going to feel if it works properly but it doesn't mm -hmm. then i can kind of test that and stuff but yeah, like something like the OM-10, which is just a plastic piece of garbage. It's like, I don't know when it's going to fail. I know it will fail. And I know that there's nothing I can do about it. So like, why would I get one? And it's the same thing with point and shoots. Like I had the Konica A4 for a couple, couple months, I think. Yeah. And I got it for like a bargain, basically. I got it for free and I loved it. It's great, but it broke and it's just, it's dead. It's gone. It's over. But it was fun because it was like a fun, it was like a, a fling, you know, yeah, a, little, it was like a romantic a short, hot fling. fling. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Time and then goodbye forever. Exactly. So it's like the point and shoot thing. I get why people like them. They're easy, but also they're way too expensive. What people ask for, which is fine. Different conversation, yeah. but they're shitty plastic things. So I don't know why people would get into them. So I don't know. I get that though. Like I want to have like a nice sturdy camera that just works yeah i'm like this thing's gonna work and then if it stops working i feel like you can figure it out and like fix it yeah, again i don't know exactly yeah well, like also that doesn't use battery does it doesn't right? uh there's some of them that do i don't think like the the 500 c or something like that I don't yeah think i think that's uses. what my mom has i don't think it uses like the, the good ones uh, don't use batteries yeah well like my auto cord doesn't use like like literally i'm like this thing is like entirely mechanical which yeah. i i love I'm loving that's the it. Best, yeah. <laughs> have that's, my phone. That's the only tech that I need. Yeah. <laughs> for my light meter. And then that's all you need. Yeah. Get a non-phone light meter. I have one of those. I just don't bring it out as often. I don't, yeah. I've got an external meter too, but it's like uh it's just another thing one. to carry around. I yeah, and it's like I don't use it that much. I'd rather use a spot meter on my phone. That just makes so much more sense. Yeah. Me. But you're like, okay, it's just the ambient meter works great if I'm like lighting a subject for like a film or something like that but other than that it's, then it's like that makes a little more sense it's like okay yeah. i'm doing like it's a slower this is like i want to take a picture right now of this building right hold my phone up okay easy, set her easy. up and go yeah because like the the ambient meter i'm like all right i gotta walk up to that building you know okay i walk back 
Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it's it terrible. is. Yeah. But I, that's why I love this. There's no needle in this at all. Like it's just oh, cool. pure camera. It's pure camera. The best. No light meter at all. <laughs> I don't need it. Get it out of here. We don't want it. Ram. <laughs> yeah. But then also in the same vein, I really like the OM2 because it does have the auto setting, which is just like easy to rip through with that. I don't yeah, even think crazy. about it too much. The but. auto setting. I never had one of those. You just like. Yeah. Just let it Let ride. it rip. Yeah. So long it. as it has They're like batteries shoot. in it, good to go. Yeah. So it's like a hefty point and shoot that you can just sort of. Uh, yeah. But it's still like out. super compact. I dig it. It's the same deal with the, uh, the Emmy Supers, which I was a huge fan of for the longest time until like recently people have been sending theirs in and it's just like, how did it get so broken? What are you doing yeah. to this thing? Uh, so that's kind of tainted my opinion on them a bit, but I love the system because it's super lightweight, very tiny, yeah. and it's a point and shoot. But that's so. cool. Yeah, I feel like I just have like point and shoots. I've never really, I like won one for once and I used it. And I, my friend, I lent it to my friend who's like thinking of getting into some films. And I was like, have fun with the point and shoot for a while, see what you're feeling, and then go from there, you know? Yeah. But, yeah. Um, yeah, I just, uh, I don't know. I really like the, I mean, they're great for, I feel like certain stuff, but I feel like I just prefer the slightly slower method yeah. of shooting. I don't and know. I think too, how you kind of got into it with the OM1, which was like one of the first traditional SLRs that was produced. I think that's like a really good first step, kind of gives you a better understanding of like how all these systems can affect the way that the photo is taken. Yeah. So I, th I think that that's kind of the way to go. I think point and shoots are an easy entry point for somebody who's like, oh, I've kind of always wanted to try shooting film. That's yeah, a good way much to Much less like, right. like controlled. You're not really yeah. like setting, right? Most, pretty much every, it's a point and shoot. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> By just... definition and name. So it's definitely, yeah, it's like fun. I think my friends just sort of like, likes how film looks. So I'm like, yeah. cool. Like if you don't want to like be taking time to like, me i mean i guess cameras have auto too but they definitely like heftier to bring around um, yeah and it's just but, something that you don't have to like actively think about or like if it does break typically they're not too expensive so you don't have to worry about it too much you just get another one but now it's a little bit different but still. now that'd be freaking crazy like i i have like one of the oh this is such a bummer i i i got like a olympus stylus oh, yeah. for for like three bucks at like a church thrift store and I put a battery in it and it works. And then I, I lent it to my, to my ex. She, she moved um, abroad and we were doing long distance before we broke up and she still has it abroad. And I'm like, Hey, can I get that back? Yeah. I know. I'm like, that yeah. feels tacky, but oh, yeah. I'm like, that's... I don't think, she, I doubt she's using it. So I'm like, Oh man. Yeah. That's kind of where a lot of my like... cameras ended up too, where it's just yeah. like, Hey, I think you'd like this. And then I just, we never talk again. I'm like, I'm like oh shit. <laughs> yeah. That's fine. So it's That's a okay. learning experience for us, but I'll never learn probably. So no, no. <laughs> you, you got to always throw yourself out there and then uh, yeah. maybe somebody will vibe with that. Maybe they won't. Who knows? And maybe, maybe one day I'll just get my little camera in the mail. I'll get a little package I'm not expecting and it'll be, I don't that, think so. I that's think I the could ask, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. We'll maybe see. it'll happen, but then you'll wake up and it hasn't happened and it hasn't, i was dreaming about that my yeah. my stylus i was like damn because then they're crazy now oh yeah yeah i got one for 40 good, bucks yeah. that's broken really broken and i'm like oh maybe i'll fix it one of these days but it's like i have so many other projects to fix one yeah. of these days that's what your enough. priority is i guess and yeah. i don't know something about like i feel i feel like uh, i don't love seeing them be so expensive i feel like it's kind of fucked up <laughs> I don't like that Olympus stopped making them because I feel like they could just make a killing if they just brought it back. Yeah, everyone, they're really good. They're like, but they're like, no, we're not going to do camera stuff anymore. I'm like, all right, that's fine, I guess. What are they doing other? What What are they doing now? What? Um, so I think one of the departments is still producing digital stuff. Oh. But I think the rest of them, like the rest of the company is owned by another company and they're kind of been sanctioned or re-sanctioned to do like printers and things like that like random printers, you're gonna do printers and you won't make a stylus epic again <laughs> yeah what uh, the market priority. would be crazy for it but i don't know instead we get the kodak h35 
exactly and you're like Please stupid help. the stupidest Please thing help. ever it's uh, just i don't know plastic landfill fuel i know i say what so you hate the environment that's what's going on here great yeah let's produce more plastic cameras i guess it's good that they're like reusable disposable but still like it's so well because they're not like particularly i mean what they're not i mean they're cheap is that the point yeah oh, i think they're like like 40 bucks or something like that okay which i, I mean i can buy an 81 for 40 bucks or whatever <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't work but you know i could fix it it so. doesn't work but i can buy one yeah. <laughs> if i wanted to and maybe fix it yeah TV. yeah maybe we'll see Crazy. um okay what do you want your work like where do you want to see your work in like five years or something do you have you thought that far ahead or oh my gosh my work in five years what a question um 50 bucks on the age 35 by the way okay there we go 50 all right i can get an a1 a broken a1 for yeah i can get two for 50 bucks. what are you talking two for 50 and then fix them yeah watch a youtube tutorial yeah. <laughs> i don't know if i can do that but uh hmm. well i'll tell you i'm really into this i mean the tin type thing i'm like really into now uh-huh. that's a little i mean what that's analog it's in the same yeah. realm yeah it's actually Um, probably more analog yeah a little more it's extra analog like wow you you win you win the (laughs) like large format like totally yeah um well i guess i'll start with i don't know for like i don't know i'm just kind of like having fun with it i don't have any like huge goals with just like shooting my film my slrs like having fun with it like whatever but um i'd like to maybe like I think a little photo book or something sometime that's not like yeah. a huge goal that could be just like a fun project but i think more in like the long term yeah doing tintype stuff would be awesome um to have like a studio doing that i don't know why i just like love it i think it's like the coolest thing i know there's like other types of that like but the wet plate is like unbelievably cool and i really like the classic portraiture like setup you know i feel like i don't shoot people very often on film I just like I feel like there's a lot of pressure to be like editorial and like very like really I mean there's so many talented creative portrait photographers out there and I just like that doesn't really feel like me yeah um or something that I see myself creating which I think can also make it hard to want to even explore that kind of stuff but I really love like when you look at tintype portraits it's very like bare bones portraiture um yeah and it's very classic like you like it's like most of the time it's like shoulders like you know up or or like people sitting and it's like very still obviously because and i really like that it feels very i don't know classic and yeah because i think like it has its roots in the original like portrait photography which was just like this is what these people looked like it wasn't trying to express go. anything Put other than house. <laughs> this is what their features were yeah so I I think I like because that's like the other end of the spectrum of what I kind of because I kind of like street photography or like kind of more you know spur of the moment portraits of people as opposed to kind of like the staged portraits but then I also really like the very very staged controlled portraits extremely staged or street caught in the act exactly those those are my favorites because like anything in between feels kind of like weird for some yeah. reason like I, I don't know there's something about it where it just feels like inauthentic to a degree because mm-hmm. i always think um like sometimes watching like a really bad actor in a show or a movie or something and i'm just imagining being on the set working the set of this thing and just trying really hard to not laugh while they're having yeah. like this emotional breakdown <laughs> scene and just like the <laughs> acting is just horrible and just like yeah you're just like holding the boom pole, just like boom, and you're like, <laughs> and the moment when you know you're not supposed to laugh, so you're laughing harder. You're yeah, like, exactly, exactly. So I just yeah. I think about like that experience, and it's just like so hard for me to like take things as they're intended to be because it just feels so inauthentic. Yeah, that's an interesting yeah thought on it because I don't know. I just feel like. Like what you said, like we said, like, this is what these people look like. And like, that's that, like something about that feels very 
very it, it feels creative in its own realm of yeah. like just like bare bones like yeah. this is it and it doesn't like I mean just genuinely here you are yeah um and I think it's just like a very cool tangible format which oh yeah like tin tie like it's the whole end product is like this thing that you can obviously we, you scan it and you can have it digitized but like I love the like just here you go well I got my like my plates like from the ones I made the other day right here oh, yeah. they're, hard. they're impossible to show off because oh, yeah. it's a mirrored thing but like you're like this is sick you know yeah. <laughs> like too cool and it's like I don't know fun like otherwise I'm like what I that was like kind of why I started like printing my photos to have in the binder because it's like otherwise they're just living yeah. on my hard drive in a drawer and yes. like and I made it like for a long time I was shooting and I made my Instagram like I had a lot of stuff like backlog from what I shot because I was kind of like what am I doing with these <laughs> like yeah. fun to share so no I, I totally get that and I think the as we kind of progress in society and where we're at now it's like so much like a lot of like my best friends or whatever people that I like talk to on a regular basis and stuff I've never met you know yeah like I would consider us fairly good friends never met you before this is the first time I've seen you so it's like you know (laughs) yeah so there's so much like separation from the reality of what normal interaction would be where you know we hang out every couple weeks or whatever Mm -hmm. but everything is so non-physical metaphysical in a way so having like some tangible thing to kind of point to is so much more impactful especially with stuff like instagram where it's like you can be shadow banned randomly or like you can have your account taken down or something like yeah. wild can happen and then like all that work is just gone just gone yeah or like uh my other instagram because i have like three seems like so <laughs> cool like no big deal or anything no big deal i've got three instagrams <laughs> no big deal but the one that i've had for like the longest time i just like put videos on there or like videos of like me and my friends or whatever uh, videos of like cats and things yeah Impor- important stuff really oh yeah about stuff I, but I, I just like use whatever songs I like at the moment and like the last month I just every notification every like couple hours I'd get a notification from Instagram oh this video has been removed this video has been removed this video has been removed all this stuff I'm like yeah that's super important that the video that I posted from 2017 is taken down because that is just oh. <laughs> the highest priority right now that we need to take your care 2017 of. video that well it was like copyright because there was a song or something yeah, in it that yeah. like... you know like I make I make no money off of this I've never claimed it was my own it's just I posted because I wanted people to watch it and enjoy it but meanwhile I got sex bots hitting me up in the dms on the daily but yeah please take daily. that video from five years down please the priorities don't you exactly understand? <laughs> I got Tatiana fire Tatiana. emoji fire emoji oh, watch my oh. fuck pussy and it's just like yeah and she's like click this link to see click, more on yeah base. super go, legit no yeah. no no <laughs> Yeah, I got like oh. people's fake accounts following me. Like, oh, here's my lewd content. Like, stop! What are we yeah, doing? I'm wilding out these days. It You're is like, crazy. So I got uh, like a CD burner or a DVD burner, I should say, and a bunch of like DVDs. So I'm gonna start burning little mixtapes of like all the videos I made for people and send those out. And I also want to do like photo book project things too. And then stop using Instagram because I just, I don't like it. It doesn't make me happy when I do it. It feels like a chore. Yeah, it is. It's because it's like, I don't know, like if you don't like do things exactly. And they're one, they're also always changing how you need to interact with the app in order to get any traction. And then it's like, you have to do it or else you're like punished because it's like suddenly like, I think I was shadow banned for like the last like two months or something because it's just like, because my friend was like, I'm not seeing any of your stuff. And I was like, I literally don't know what I'm doing. I'm just trying to mind my own business, yeah. interact with my friends on there, like yeah. share my stuff. And yet, and it's like, obviously, you know, you're like, oh, I don't care about like the engagement I get. But obviously like everyone does to some degree. Yeah, you do care. Like, like it's, it's just all validation. Human, like yeah. everyone wants some external validation. And it's like, Instagram's like, oh, you want to share photos? Fuck you. Like yeah. if it's not a real, we don't want it. And then we're not going to let anyone see your shit. And yeah. I'm like, I'm not a video person. Like, I'm not here trying to make a reel. Like, I'm like, I like this song. I guess I'll, you know. You need to do the, uh, that's your reel. Just the, 
video Literally. through the viewfinder. Look. <laughs> Everyone loves that stuff. I gotta start. Yeah, I know. I really am like, I don't have, but in the moment, in the present moment, I'm like, my my thought isn't like, let me film through my viewfinder. Like, no, no, because you know? like nobody does that because they like to do that. People do that because Instagram likes people to do that. I've done that a few times where if I'm shooting like a really weird kind of film and I like the shot, I'm like, I don't know how this is going to turn out. So I like, I'll take a shot through the viewfinder. So I see what it is. But then also I like do a video for it too, because I'm like, people like to see that. People love to see it. Instagram loves to share it. Yeah. You gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> but then it just feels forced. Cause it's like, I'm not doing this because I receive any like enjoyment or fulfillment from, it. I'm doing this because I know that other entities will. So yeah. Which that's it's like just a mess. It's a mess. We're doing our best. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We're just trying to figure it out. Just trying to make some friends, share our photos, do some exactly. art. I don't know. <laughs> terrible, terrible. Um, I know. The wild world we're living in. Yeah, because it feels like everything has to be monetized to some degree or like be capable of being monetized. Like, how can I make a little scratch off of this? I know. Um, and that's, yeah, that's like, yeah, and it's funny, like the five year question, you know, and it's like, like, you guys should be like, oh, I want to like be doing art full time. Like, I don't know. I guess maybe the tin type thing is sort of like, yeah, that would be like ideal. Like, I think you could, you know, yeah. but you know, like I have to be like, I mean, I can, I don't mind like working a job. Like if it's not horrible, you know, yeah. like if I'm making good money, like I'd rather like work a good job and make a good money to be able to support doing like those projects than be yeah. like only doing tin types and like scraping the barrel to like pay my yeah. rent every month <laughs> like, and then just like, like, begging people, like buy my yeah. prints buy my prints it's like Please buy my prints. <laughs> yeah nobody wants to buy your prints you're yeah, like i'm sorry like i i've got a certain wall of stuff i mean clearly there's nothing on this wall but yeah. there are a lot of walls we well, got the plant there that's up. enough yeah that's enough for time yeah. you know yeah but my I also I love when people sell their prints and they do like low res scans and like big prints and then oh. like I got one from somebody and I was just like wow like I was like oh that's nice I'll put that somewhere special yeah you're like because I don't think you think about it like I, I think I need a rescan I'm supposed to hang up some photos in a coffee shop here which is exciting Ooh. um but I need to make sure that they're gonna print okay I mean, I yes. usually print pretty like high res. I'm not printing huge. They're probably going to be like 18 by 20 is the biggest. Okay. But like, yeah, that's my nightmare. Just spend a lot of money printing and then it's like pixelated and trash. Yeah, yeah. I was just like, oh. <laughs> and also on display. <laughs> so yeah, it's like, yeah. here's my work. It's like, here's my work. Buy it. It's pixelated. <laughs> yeah, great. If you look at it from a very far distance, it looks fine. Yeah. Just don't get too little, close. Tilt your head. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> close both your eyes close you both go. that's perfect. all you need yeah you're not even seeing nothing that's the best perfect just imagine a good picture that's Say, what oh i kind of saw what it's supposed to be now picture the rest exactly, right. exactly. that's showbiz baby you know <laughs> gotta make it work <laughs> let me grab my charger really fast i'm so unprepared for this thing oh <laughs> no it's all good this has been I'm... going on for a minute too yeah how long are yours usually um depends <laughs> I say sorry not everyone's as incredibly engaging as I am yeah you're right yeah that's sorry wait let me start over ask me the question again <laughs> let's start from scratch uh yeah so typically it only lasts like 10 minutes but this has just been such an invigorating discussion that you know I know 10 yeah. minutes really oh no, my God. no not really I've only <laughs> done this is my third one that I've done and the other okay. two were with like people that I knew pretty well Oh, so sorry. the first one was like two and a half hours because it was just my buddy and we we're just catching up and then the other one was with my old co-worker who used to repair lenses and stuff and so we talked for probably about an hour and a half just about stuff and look at me i'm just some rando from instagram some some you interact lady, with. yeah <laughs> uh and i got another dude that i met in london who he's in korea right now doing photo things but, vague photo things yeah he he messaged me last night about it and i was like oh that's pretty tight but then my brain doesn't work very well so just yeah, that's fair some okay. technical thing i don't know you're like cool that sounds awesome yeah, <laughs> i don't you're really making money which is good yes yes <laughs> but yeah i don't know 
Um, this is fun though. It's like nice to actually like this. I feel like I don't, I mean, I have a few friends here now, like pretty much all my friends in New York now are via film Instagram, which is, I'm blessed because oh, I, don't yeah. know how, I don't know how I would make friends otherwise. Um, well, one's my neighbor, but that like was a very serendipitous, like we happen to like, our dogs like each other. So we started hanging out, but otherwise oh. like everyone's like film people. Yeah. And I think there's, that's kind of where I'm at too. Cause like my roommates here, I used to work at Walmart with them, which is just, that was a great job. I really enjoyed that. Uh, but they're not really into photo things, yeah. which is nice because we don't talk about stuff like that. And then my other buddy who lives up here, he and I went to the same film school together. So like we do film things together and we'll take photos together mm-hmm. and stuff like that. And everyone else I know here is from the little group chat thing that I'm in, just yeah. kind of tight. But I'm also like, I wouldn't say I'm a hermit because I don't think I'm like old enough to be a hermit. You're like a low key hermit. But like I'm kind definitely, yeah. You're on I'm your a, way there. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm on. I'm. <laughs> I'm heading there. downhill pretty quick. I'm like, time alone would be great. Okay. But I love a hermit though. Yeah, oh, yeah. it's nice. But and then also, cool. I think for me it's hard because like when I think about cameras, I immediately jump to how I feel about repairing them like how I feel about yeah. like the very small details in them yeah so it's nice just to talk to somebody about like oh why do you like this camera yeah because it's like just in terms that. of using it yeah yeah from a non-technical standpoint I'm out here like what are the terms for things I don't know I just like yeah. this camera because it does xyz I take a nice photo with it there you go <laughs> and that's cute. that's all you need to do like that is it hasn't all broken on me yet you know knock on wood <laughs> yeah no kidding um om ones are very hard to break there's like a few yeah. kind of weird things that happen with them but yeah they're very difficult to actually like break just yeah, by themselves yeah i've only i only had to get the light seals i redid the light seals that's like all i've done i did change lenses out because i someone dropped a mine once Ooh. and it like did like impact damage on the lens which is fine because it's i'm actually like i was using a 28 millimeter for like ever oh yeah and then i finally switched to a 50 and i was like okay this is way more my i don't know why i was like i mean no no shade to 28 but like uh, 50 i'm like i like this this is much more like what you're seeing you know yeah it's yeah that like the human eye sees like in 45 millimeter there yeah now. so, so it's, it's like, yeah it's like standard yeah. but when i switched i was like oh god i gotta like really step back to go take oh, this yeah. photo that's why like right there that's really wild it's yeah. like i shot with the 50 for the longest time then i got a 28 because i typically with video stuff i've enjoyed wider angle for things. sure it makes sense video i would prefer it i think wider. but yeah so going with a 28 for stills and stuff i was like oh wow this is totally different so i kind of did the opposite of that yeah interesting yeah i think i my i for the pentax spotmatic i the lens that my mom had on it that she just like sent over first was like a 24 and Ooh. I shot the first few frames, but I was like out in like East Village with my friend who was visiting, and I was like, I don't like this. <laughs> I was like, this is crazy. Like I'm like, I mean, it's it's probably good for city stuff, but I was like, this oh, is yeah. just not how I'm liking. It. And then I switched to like, what do I have on right now? Let's see, let's see. Oh, I think I have a what? Yeah, fifty five. Oh so, yeah, the fifty five was that the one, one eight. Yeah, the one eight fifty five. Is that the Super Takamar? Yeah, I'll get that. I was about to say it. You just know your stuff. Asahi a... Optco Japan. Good lens. But I it's weird because there's screw on, which my dad yeah. was like, oh, no, this will be I was like, is this right? I was like, how do you take this off? I was like, literally just oh. Yeah. Yeah, the M42 mount is fantastic. Uh they have an adapter for M42 to K mount. So if you have like a K1000, you can put that on and then put an M42 oh, mount cool. on. The Super Takamar glass is just the tits. The thinking, I think it was like the very first iteration of their color lenses that they did, which was like color corrected and stuff. A lot of them can get, like the glass gets radiated. Mm -hmm. So it'll just be like turning yellow and stuff. It happens with Nikon glass too. You just have to get like a UV light and sit it on top of it. It's really weird, but yes. Other than that, they're great lens. I got the other than that, other than getting that random light, the UV yeah, light, it's, it's all good. Stick out the sun for a few hours. Yeah, that, I've heard that works too. Oh, actually, but, that'd be what yeah. I would do. I'm not lazy. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. the windowsill. 
we just we got like a lot of like older lenses so we just had like just a giant thing of uv light that we'd sit on top of it it was pretty interesting but i got the 35 on here and i shot with that a little bit ago and i was like i want to like this but it's weird because it's like it's not really wide it's also not like really tight so yeah. i think i'm just gonna stick with the the 55 because i've got that too and then yeah. there's a 135 m42 mount that i really want to try out because i don't shoot that ever yeah long lens but that'd be interesting yeah i mean cool to try it you know yeah why not yeah. I got the little like camcorder deal I've been recording a lot of videos with and I love the zoom on that. So like, I'll just zoom into people's like faces super fast. <laughs> I think that's the funniest thing in the world to me. I'm never, I love it. That. but I don't know <laughs> like, if I like, like take photos of people's faces close up with the 135. I feel like that'd be weird. I don't know. You could try it. I guess we'll find out. Yeah. Find out. Yeah. See how it is. That's but cool. I love the M42 mount. It's Good one. Any other questions, comments, concerns? Like question, comments, concerns. All yeah. of the above. Um, no, I don't know. Cameras, schmameras. Uh, hmm. I don't know. Do you? No, not really. I, this is a nice, like, unexpected. I, yeah. Thing. <laughs> yeah. This is nice. This is really cool. Yeah. What do you? Yeah. So you make video, So you? What you're not? cut it together and and make me say bad stuff pull out pretty little, much yeah i'm please. just gonna cut out all of the bad things you said and then the moments where you just like got up and walked away and that's it you're like she's just, terrible yeah the worst yeah <laughs> you're gonna no, slander me pretty much yeah <laughs> i deserve it honestly yeah this this is the roast session you're welcome i should have known should have seen it coming I'm just gonna drag you through the mud for no reason you've been I like love. moderately nice to me online so <laughs> so going down. Though, that's what you I'm get for being you down nice. one person at a time yeah pretty much no i'm gonna i'll cut it together i've got like i said two others i need to get to and i just have i have like three months of backlog of repair videos to edit i'm so Love far it. behind on oh my gosh well that's but what I'm, you're gonna do the rest of today you're gonna do some editing it's gonna be good it's a hot weekend hot week Right. Yeah, I, I need to get these cameras done first, and then I'll. I also <laughs> have baking I need to do time. too. Yeah. Yeah, but anyway, so I'll cut that together, and then I'll put it up on my yeah, YouTube right. channel or whatever. Oh so. YouTube. Hey, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I just have fun. Like, what? This is like so hot here. I'm like, what? Just hanging out at home. So this has been yeah. a nice like social hour. I don't have to leave. Indeed, yeah, exactly. Indeed. To finally meet you, kind of not IRL, but more IRL than yeah. Just, like, yeah this is actually this is nice because I okay. I have this really weird thing where if I'm talking to somebody online, I like imagine how tall they are. Yeah. And like and like I don't like if someone's short or tall, like that doesn't bother me. But like I just imagine their height, and then if I like meet them and they're like a different height, that really throws me off. Yeah, that's fair. Does that make sense? How, how tall do you think I am? I'm gonna say taller. Like how tall are you? Uh like six three, six four-ish. Okay. I'm gonna say like five eleven, maybe. Oh, I fucking wish. I okay. wish I'm five nine. <laughs> okay. So okay. I'm like I'm like the tallest, like one of the tallest of my friends. I'm always taller. Okay. I think but that's I, what it is, because I'll see you with other people. It's like all my friends are short as fuck though. All my oh, friends yeah. are like all my friends are like five two. I don't know what that is. It's like five two or five three. I'm like, I don't what yeah. is that? What I, I like I get that too, but I think they're just kind of like attracted to big tall thing, walk towards it, sort of wow. I, think that's... <laughs> I know, I don't know what it, it's like. I just like suddenly I was like literally all the people, my close friends just happen to be, but also if you think about it, I think the average height of women in the United States is like five four. Oh, okay. It's I pretty it was, low. Yeah. I always feel like I'm average height and the people are like, oh, you're tall. And I was like, oh, okay. I th yeah, I, I think it's five eight like, was like average, but it's gone down. I think it's like five, maybe it's five five, but yeah, okay. Weird. But it's definitely I but it's hard because I think I, I did rowing for like a lot of that's my sport thing. Okay. And I was short in the rowing world. Like six, six two is like kind of the like six is probably the average of like women's rollers but like interesting that was like a little tiny thing so then i think that really has skewed my perception moving out oh, of yeah. that world i'm like i'm small yeah <laughs> like, no, no. Um, okay so rowing rugby what other sport things did you do 
those are my primary sports. I, okay. I mean, I did soccer when I was a kid, but I was, but Everybody like, a little, did. and a little bit of basketball, but I feel like rowing was like, I was hardcore to that. Like my sophomore or sophomore through senior years of high school. Cause I like got recruited for college. So that's how I went to college. Nice. I was like, I couldn't have gone to Berkeley. <laughs> I'm like, but uh, one of those sports jocks people. But then, yeah, yeah I got, I got like injured um, rowing. Uh, I fucked up my back and then mm. thought rugby would be better. And I actually yeah. had no issues with rugby because it was like, I don't know, I had like a disc injury. So it's like the rowing thing is like bad for it. And rugby's like, whatever, you tackle, it's not so bad. But I liked rugby a lot. And then after that, I was kind of a, crossfit bitch for a while but mm. not like not like cross okay i say that but it's like it wasn't like an actual like certified crossfit gym it was like uh like a cross training i don't know it wasn't like, like circuit the, training kind of deal yeah i was like hit like fun like i don't know i like the trainer a lot i think the trainer makes it and the people because yeah. i i've been to crossfit gyms where i'm like i hate everything about this yeah <laughs> like this yeah. is it's like, just like central. i'm in a cult yeah yeah like gross so mine were like low-key but um yeah otherwise now i did climbing for a little while interesting but the gyms are always so full so i'm like what i'm here for two hours and i do two things and i'm like yeah yeah no i don't like when you have to deal with like the crowd and then work out because it's just like large groups of people kind of they don't stress me out but just like i get agitated because i'm just like i like having a little bit of personal space and you can't like, have a, especially the climbing gym at like 6 p.m oh my god yeah, no thank Horrible. you yeah i was just like not feeling it so now i just do nothing and yeah what yeah i'm just taking my pictures my silly little pictures <laughs> minding my own business going to the dog park yeah you know that sounds like the dream honestly <laughs> sounds better yeah. honestly yeah yeah geez but, i wish huh yeah yeah because i think i remember seeing you like post something about the rowing and I was like oh it's pretty tight because like I I oh yeah I think it's like some random shit yeah yeah it's so like funny I I like it it feels like eons ago I mean it wasn't 2012 to 2015 that was maybe 2011 to 2016 I was rowing but it's very like all my life revolved around that for like a long time and all my friends are only from that and now I'm just like I think about it and I'm like I don't even like what <laughs> yeah exactly like you're just so far removed from that person yeah, yeah it's like I don't have a lot of friends anymore it's just like whatever but yeah yeah I kind of did the same thing like in high school because I had like a bunch of my friends were all sport people and stuff and it was sport fun just, but then I graduated high school a year early so I just like stopped talking to oh. all of those people yeah and then went to community college to get a film degree and stuff. And then met new friends through that. And then like last year, thereabouts, I reached out to like one of my old wrestling buddies. Yeah. And then like we started hanging out again. And we kind of had a weird falling out in high school. Like we just stopped being friends, which was, mm-hmm. I don't really remember why, but it was some stupid reason, I'm sure. Yeah. But then it was like, oh, we became friends again. And it was so weird because we were both like so different from who we were in high school, but it was still like the same person. Yeah. It just no, like it just that's reminded real. me of like who I used to be, and I was like, like "That's weird." That's weird, but it's this nice that you like reconnected and been able to be like the the new people or the you know the, the newer people you are still yes. like vibe together and can have yeah. like yeah, it's yeah. like some people you're like. Some people you meet and you're like, wow, you are the exact same. And I, I'm not there anymore yeah. myself. So you I did not grow at all. And like, good for you. If you didn't, you know, more power. If you're to having you. fun, like good for you, but we're just going to not be friends. Yeah. Again. We can, we can like wave, do a little nod. Good we're with that. Friendly, but we won't be uh, friends. <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. I'm very much that way. And then I feel like an asshole because I'm just like, you know, but also at the same time, like, I don't really have the kind of energy to output into all of these like very medial social interactions just for the sake of like we used to know each other five years ago yeah like okay cool we can still have known each other five ten years ago but we don't that's like my mood of like this year has been like I am not doing things I don't want to do I don't want to hang I'm like the kind of person that like I'm like oh this person I'm like kind of friends with like wants to get dinner like sure I'll go because they want me to go like it's like whatever I don't like but now I say 
no, I don't have the energy good. for that. I have like yeah. actual people that I want to hang out with, things I'd rather do. So like uh, no more random coffee just because it'll appease some friendship you don't care about. Yeah. No. Yeah. I think but that is, that's the way to live. Easier life, said right? than done, obviously. Oh yeah. Yeah. Cause like also in my brain, I'm like, well, you know, whatever reason I can think of a reason to hang out with somebody, but oh, of course. like, and I don't really want to. So yeah, but some people, that's a red flag too. If someone you're like, I can't just say I'm not feeling it. You have to make up an excuse. Exactly. Because oh. the real ones, they're like, oh yeah, okay. Yeah. I don't feel like, like going tonight. They say, okay, cool. <laughs> See you another Actually, time. it does really bother me though. And like a friend of mine is like, oh, I can't hang out. And then they like make up an excuse. And it's like, if you just said you don't want to hang out, like I'm, I'm good with that. So I'm kind of like, yeah. do you not feel the comfortable to just say that? Is, yeah. Slippery slope. Cause it's like, okay, well then just like, then it makes it weirder. It's like, okay, yeah. now, now you're lying to me. Exactly. Now it's just like, I'm cool. If you don't want to, like hundred percent fine. I'm not like, yeah. Sometimes you're just like not in a social mood. I'm I just, like being alone anyway. So you're not, yeah, I'm like, I'd rather just watch a movie at home. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> but now that you lied about your dentist appointment. No. Yeah. I know you now don't have any me. teeth. Yeah. So like, <laughs> yeah. I say, Oh, where's that filling you said you were getting liar. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Now I'll give you something to get a feeling about. <laughs> <laughs> I would never. No, <laughs> I'm no, non-violent, no. but uh, yeah, and I'm, non-confrontational. I talk a big game, but yeah, and I, like I think I'm kind of the same way because it's again larger person. So I feel like there's a level of intimidation there, but like I have just the most amount of patience. I mean, it's what? Only you now. You seem very kind. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> like, I mean, what? You're tall. You're six three, but you got yeah. a beard. But I don't, yeah. don't know. You know Broad shoulders. Maybe you can someone up if they deserved it, but it's yeah. nice. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. No, I like. I just feel like there's so many. Like I've seen people like break out into fights and stuff, and it's like over the dumbest stuff. And I'm like, is that really how you want to go about your life? Where like you yeah. can't solve an issue with like words or reason it's like brute violence it's like there's got to be a better way like i think we've developed only (laughs) yeah it's like okay what we're not in like 10 bc all right like yeah Yeah, seriously oh i got a big rock i'm gonna solve all problems it's like all right (laughs) yeah literally neanderthal you're like all right have fun with that (laughs) yeah i don't know i'm just not for me. It just seems like way too much effort for. Yeah, you're just. I'm minding my own business. Keeps yeah. me young. Keeps me unbothered. Yeah. And unpunched in the face. Unpunched in the face. That's which good. is really where we all want to be at the end of the day. I mean, yeah, with how expensive healthcare is around here. I. I'm trying to get punched. <laughs> I, <laughs> like, yeah, seriously, I cannot believe it. It is. It's absurd. Crazy town. So that's but, why you stay out of fights. My job. Exactly. Is- yeah. <laughs> Yeah, even though like I'm like, oh, I kind of want to do some dumb shit or like, you know, kind of hang out and go skydiving or like, you know, go rafting and stuff like that. But I'm like, well, you know, I could just get injured. And it wouldn't even be like a fun injury with my luck. It would be like a really weird injury that's going to be like a lot of weird to fix. It's like, I was going to say, at least with skydiving, if there's a problem, you're just going to die. You just die. Yeah, that's easy. Rafting, though. Yeah, it's like, all right, I partially drowned. Now, like, one of my lungs doesn't work or something. So it's like, oh no. Break like something your ribs weird. or something, stab yeah. you in the lung with a broken yeah. rib. I don't know, some horrible, some recovery. like terrible thing. Like I broke my hip like years oh, ago, no. running. Like I was just running, and my hip. Did you fell or something? No. Oh. I was what? literally just running, and it just like the muscle pulled a chunk of bone out of place. Oh so I just have like just the strongest muscles of all time. You're ripped, but like <laughs> so ripped, you broke your own. Yeah. That's my, my feeble bones can't contain. My feeble, what? That's, wait, but having a broken hip sounds terrible. Oh, it was, yeah. But it's just like weird shit like that has happened. So I'm like, I don't really want to test my luck yeah, if I can help it. Luck. It sounds like you're on thin ice already. Like. Pretty much, yeah. I'm like, you know. 24 going on 95 so there we go <laughs> going on 95 yeah on death's doorstep like, pretty much yeah i'm just <laughs> one just accident like, away from the yeah, end of the world. i look at like all the hobbies that i have the amount of time i spend by myself and like all of the things that interest me i'm like oh i'm just an elderly man that's what it is you know I love that for you though. Nothing wrong with that though. Nothing wrong at all. <laughs> You're like elderly hobby. But I like to embroider. That's an old lady hobby. That's a good one though. 
do you like do you embroider things to give to people or is it just for shits okay and here's here's my problem i'm the kind of person that i'm like i'm like a one and done crafter but i'm pretty good at shit like i'll make like a crazy ass thing and then never do it again i have to i can embroider usually it's always gifts like yeah people like i mean like embroider like a tea towel and put like hours and hours and it's pretty sick but then i haven't embroidered since but interesting so but I enjoy it. what do you think about film photography then has made you want to continue to pursue it look at that good question um maybe because i make do it for myself and it's not gifts for people okay like i don't know photos are fun like it's like a little like you know get it developed little gift to myself i don't know yeah. it's like a fun way to like i always like taking photos of things and like i i'm not like I don't like to write. I'm not like a journaler. I'm not like like doing any of that kind of stuff. So I feel like it's kind of a fun way to like, I don't know, catalog things. Yeah. And I mean, now I've obviously moved away from the more like friends and trips. I mean, obviously I take photos on trips and stuff, and, but it's not to the same like degree of like smile, you know? <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Let's take an artsy pic of you walking under this thing, you know, be my model. But like, yeah. I don't know. I think um, it's also just like, not easier but like I don't know it's more of a like like I can bring it and like fit it into my life as I'm doing other things whereas like I'm working on like an illustration or like an embroidery and it's like I'm parking my ass on the couch and like working on this for hours and hours and hours and there's obviously like a very like rewarding thing at the end when it comes out and it looks good and you can give it to someone um but so like photography it's like yeah I'm meeting my friend for a beer and I'm walking there and I see some cool shit on the way and I take pictures and it's like not like a whole ordeal but yeah. like still like be creative throughout the day or doing whatever you're doing there's like space for that instead of like, yeah it's just yeah. kind of I find it kind of like shapes the world in a different way yeah you're like kind of like walking around you're like kind of looking for cool stuff you're not yeah. just like to yeah. your destination exactly oh, yes. I have, and then I always like times I don't bring my camera I'm like oh why didn't I bring my camera that yeah. would have been perfect but then you're I, like oh yeah that's the name of the game that's life and you know? yeah it's like <laughs> I think I spend so much time with the camera I use that as like my like tool to interact with the world mm -hmm. and then when I don't have it I'm like ah but then also I'm like well it's probably good because now I can just live in this moment yeah yeah I think it's totally like a mixed thing of like you know, not wanting to be too sucked into it. And like, I mean, that's the nice thing about your little, like, you know, the Spotmatic or my Olympus, just like throw that in my bag, wear that around, like do my life. You know, you're on your vacation, you can do whatever you want, but you see cool shit and you take pictures and yeah. then you have cool memories of it. But yeah, I'm not like, a, I don't take it like too serious. I'm, yeah. You know, pretty lazy. I, think, I just have fun with it. But I think that's what I like about your work best is that it's just very, it's not serious it's not very pretentious it's not like <laughs> yeah it's just it's easy that. <laughs> it's digestible is what I would say like it's really easy to just look at and enjoy and I can kind of see why you took this or like why you framed it in a certain way and I enjoy that a lot it's also very like vibey you know good vibes what can I say good I'm vibes. just vibing <laughs> that's what I'm going for I think it's the pink hair really channels it too oh, which by I the know, way my new brand I mean, it's fantastic Thank Big you. Fan. I mean, I'm really trying to maintain it. My roots are growing out, but that's good for it. You wouldn't be able to tell. Exactly. That nice. is great. That has a great <laughs> Um, But yeah, because there's something about going back to like the, the whole gatekeeping thing or whatever. It just feels like when there's some people that are like being very uppity about their work and stuff, it just seems like in my mind, I'm like, oh, you're insecure. You're insecure about what you're doing. Like you don't know yeah. what you're doing, which is fine. Sure. But you're trying to like placate that you do so you're buying up the nice things you're yeah. taking like the picture like the car corner picture because you've seen everyone else do that which like, again is fine but you know yeah i don't know there, there's just something about like people who assume they have everything figured out that in my brain i'm like you don't though because nobody does nobody so i'm like does. very skeptical immediately yeah. of like what they're saying for sure. No, I don't, yeah, I feel like I, the gatekeepy thing is like super real. And I don't know, I like, I've even had people be like, oh, like, if you don't mind sharing with me, like, what camera do you like shoot with? Or like, you know, like very, like, if you don't mind, like, like, 
could you, you know? And I was like, oh, I don't give a, I don't give a fuck. Like, yeah, yeah. this yeah. is the camera I use. And, and it's like, I also remember like early on when I started like hanging out with people to do like photo walks. Um, I remember being kind of nervous about it because like, I've never been like super technical. Like I just like walk around and like talk to people or listen to my music and like look for cool stuff. And I'm like getting some stuff in them outside, like minding my own business. And like, yeah. I think I would get nervous that like I'd meet up with someone and they'd like want to talk, like talk shop. And I'm like, you know, try and keep up. But um, fortunately, like everyone I've met has been like super like low key welcoming, like super down to like share yeah. information. And like, I remember really recently, or I guess over the, I guess when I was home over February ish or whatever, this woman reached out to me. It's like, I'm super eager to like, get into film photography like I have a camera I haven't shot it in years like do you ever do like mentorships like can I like you know kind of thing and I was like huh <laughs> I was like yeah. I was like we want to walk you know like let's go meet up and we can talk you know and we hung out for a whole afternoon and at the end she was like like do you want like I can totally like pay you for your time and I was like what the hell I was like <laughs> no way dude like it felt so wrong to me and I think yeah. like, I mean it's this weird line of like obviously like in some spaces there's like compensation for time and things but I was like no like this doesn't feel right like like maybe if I was like like when I did my tin type workshop like yeah I paid for a workshop there's like a ton of like I use their camera their chemicals they were like right, taking right. it was very one-on-one -on -one. I was like I was like no like I'm happy to go on a walk like I got to take some cool photos yeah, like it was like mutually beneficial so yeah it's like got to meet you and hang out like cool conversation like I just feel like I I don't know. I was very sweet of her. I was like, wow, that's very flattering that you'd want to do that. But I was like, I'm just down to like share information. Like I'm learning from you. You learn from me, like yeah. that kind of space. And like, I don't know. I just never want to be someone that people don't want to just like hang out with and talk film in like a non-pretentious, like fun way. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I like, don't know that much. Like I, whatever I shoot the stocks I like and I have the cameras I have and I mean the cameras I have are just because they were hand-me-downs which I'm really lucky for um but it's kind of like you know just living my my life <laughs> shooting exactly, my pictures yeah. and like I don't know meeting a lot of people and it's fun I get to try out cameras that friends have and that's really cool but but yeah I don't know I feel like it's fun. it's the more the merrier honestly it's like yeah been crazy to see even just like since COVID like how how many more people have like joined the like film Instagram realm? Oh yeah. Cause like, there's all like the OGs that I've been talking to since like I made my account, you know, that I like still always like commenting on, I love to see. And so I've gotten to meet in real life and I've made like IRL friends. I don't like most of my friends here from film. I don't even shoot film with them. I haven't even shot film with them. We just hung out and like kicked it and have become like friends, which is really yeah. cool. But I don't know. It's a long winded answer. I don't know where I'm going with it, but. No, I, I think that's, that pretty much encapsulates who you are as a person and also like how you view your art in a way. And I think that that's what I really enjoy because that authenticity kind of exudes from your work, so to speak. Yeah, big nice. words, I know. I read a dictionary <laughs> one time, so pretty good. I person. love that. That like, you're making me blush. <laughs> but no, it's- it's it um, Authenticity. I love that. Yeah. It's, just, it's one of those things where like, there's a, a good through line. Your work is like, there are elements of similarities between your subjects, but there's also like other photos you take that are nothing like the others, but it still feels the same. Like, it's not hard for me to go through my feed and see which one is yours. <laughs> You're like, I think I know who took that one. Exactly, yeah. So yeah. like, I think elements of that I really enjoy because it's what you want to do. And I think that that's really cool. And it's the same deal too, like, uh, a lot of the photographers up here that I've met with like just picked it up a little bit ago and when I met up with them the first time I was like super worried because I'm thinking like I'm gonna not know anything compared to them and then yeah. when I met them they like they had no clue what was going on which was super nice <laughs> but then also you're, a pro there. you're like I know hell of shit <laughs> yeah yeah but I'm like I don't want to be that guy that's like um actually and then like you know talking down to them or whatever because like nobody wants that and again, yeah. the amount of information that I know about very inconsequential things is absurd. So I just try and like, if someone asks, yeah. I'm happy to talk about it, but I'm not going to like instruct no, maybe, people. Yeah. But the energy you have, which I really like is like, you know, a ton and you're down to share that. And it's never like come off as like a, 
talk me down, like, you know, kind of vibe, yeah. which I know you can definitely get from people that are like, think, act like they know everything. And then you're like, yeah. okay, I don't like this energy, but I think it's awesome to like, I mean, I love knowing people that I, that know the technical stuff that it's like, Hey, something's going on. Like, yeah. Tell me everything, you know, <laughs> like, yeah. cause it's oh, yeah. super helpful knowledge that not everyone has that is definitely worthwhile to share. So every group needs a you, <laughs> someone, you know, it might know. And you have like great energy about it. And it's like, yeah, I don't know. I like when you share camera stuff with me. Cause I'm like, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. Learning I'm happy to do it. Cause I, that's like all I think about lately is just camera Eat, stuff sleep, film cameras <laughs> yeah that's so much fun just how we like it but yeah, yeah well now i learned today that the om10 sucks oh it is just an absolute garbage, garbage camera <laughs> oh, i hate it so much okay there's this other issue that happens where so the mirror in these this moves freely but in the om10 it's supposed to stay still and if it does move freely What's happening is there's a small magnet that sits underneath the little like bottom plate here in the mirror box. You have to remove the bottom plate and clean off the magnet. If that doesn't like increase the resistance of the mirror travel, then the whole camera's just bricked. And there's probably another uh -huh. workaround to get to that, but it's like literally not worth the time. Yeah. And the other thing that is terrible is it has the the dial here is actually part of the rewind crank. And there's these little like plastic cutouts for this like the little rotator deal. Mm -hmm. So it's supposed to like click into place in each of those little cutouts. However, it's plastic because, because. fuck me, I guess. And so over time it just erodes. So it's just like, it'll just slide around. So your camera will be on and off and then the self timer will go on. And then the battery oh. check will go on. It's just like this really high pitched squealing sound. Just like, no, just don't, just don't. Yikes. That's there's a no just, for me. Yeah. There's just oh, a better anyway. way. Yeah. We can do I'm like do the better. lower the number on the Olympus, the better. <laughs> I exactly. Say, exactly. Oh, I'm one, two. Like that's, I'll keep it there. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, I definitely would recommend the OM2 if you're, if you are looking for. You wouldn't or what? A wood. Wood. I mean, I've enjoyed mine at least. There's a few little weird things that are wrong with it, but I just need to take it apart because I got it for a pretty screaming deal. So, so there you go. Same. So maybe I'll think about it. I'll just keep yeah. messing around my Pentax for a minute. Honestly, <laughs> do that. Just I'm just curious to hear what you have to think about it because, like, I've been loving shooting Spotmatics lately. I've got yeah. like, I think like ten. I've just been rescuing them because people like put them up for like twenty bucks and they're oh. broken as hell, and I love fixing them. Well, that's but, nice though, because then it's like, oh, you can give them another life. Because exactly. if they're a nice camera and you can fix them, then why not? Well, now I know if I have any problems with my honey ball, I know where to have my little Pentax. I know where to send it. <laughs> I have this like really stupid book that I think is fantastic. Um, but it was written by a guy and it's literally it's just Pentax. about. <laughs> I love that. The picture it's, on the back is so good. Oh yeah, it's just uh, so yeah. fancy. So that's a really good read if you want no, to know way really too much. I have so many little like reasons. And now I'm like, gotta check out all this shit now. I love it. <laughs> oh yeah, I've like so my old job. I would like open up packages of people's cameras, and they would like include little books and stuff like that in their camera bags. So I just have a bunch of like memorabilia, expired film, lens filters, all sorts of fun garbage. Fun garbage. Fun yeah. garbage. Yeah. Treasure. Better than unfun garbage. Exactly. You can have way worse garbage. <laughs> yeah, like rotting food in my room or something. Like that's a thing people do. Yeah, you just have chem stuff. Yeah. It's usable somewhat. Usable somewhat in some degree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but if you would like film and lens filters. Let me know your address. I'll just mail some shit to oh my you. Gosh. Okay. Well, let me know. Um, I'll send you that. Maybe I'm down. Um, and then let me know. I mean, I'll pay you for it. Basically. No. Nah. Or at least for shipping them. <laughs> nah. Don't worry about it. Uh -huh. Shipping cross country is like not as expensive as you'd think. I just well, use like USPS. It'll be like ten bucks maybe oh, tops. I would love to um pay for that. <laughs> nah. Not only it's nah, a gift. Like, I'm paying you for your time here. Oh, is 
that what, what I thought? I was just having a good time hanging out with my friend, but. Okay, well, yeah, we're doing that too, but I'm also like. <laughs> okay, well, I appreciate it. And let me know if you change your mind. Okay, okay. but I'll send you my address and stuff. Sounds um, good. But this has been really fun. Oh my gosh. Thanks yeah. for um, hitting me up. This is like. Oh yeah, no, thank you for agreeing to. Because I was like, I, I've been wanting to do this with people, but I'm like, this is kind of a weird thing to ask. Like, hey, do you have a few hours to just chat? But I want to get into more of this stuff because it's yeah. enjoyable. And I feel like it's with cool. my YouTube it's channel like, stuff, it's like yeah. super dry me talking about mechanical things. It's be cool to shake it up. Yeah. 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 No, I was no, I'm honored. It's part of our um non gatekeepy vibe. It's just being just, down to talk to whoever, whenever about film and just, just like, vibing. Things. We're just vibing. Just vibing. <laughs> But oh my god, maybe I'll come to Portland one day again. I'm you should. Portland. You definitely should. I'm definitely gonna try and get over to New York at least for like, because like I'm not a big city person in general. Me neither. I don't know why I live here. What the fuck am I? Yeah, doing? it's kind of <laughs> odd. I know. But, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> but I also really like street photography, and I feel like I would really enjoy New York for like a weekend. Oh, for sure. Like Which is how weekend. I like San Francisco. It's like a weekend in San Francisco is great fun. But then any longer, you're like, get me the hell out. I'm good. Yeah. I'm done. You yeah. totally come. My friend was here for like a week and she she lives in the Bay and she like had a blast shooting. She like went into Manhattan while I was working and like did so much street stuff. And she was like stoked. She's kind of in a rut too. She was like, I've been feeling really uninspired. And she's like, oh, yeah. I love these roles. Like, I'm so excited. So that's that. And I figured Portland's like, that's my shit. I was like, I would oh, yeah. love to shoot around there. Oh, it so. is so wild out here. I love it. It's fantastic it's so much better than phoenix yeah i mean yeah. i'm not gonna argue with you on that one i've never been to phoenix but i i'm gonna say I it agree. is just just levels better <laughs> it's just like so corporate which is fine but also so hard to do anything creative and enjoyable because like yeah. and nobody walks around so there's like no street photography because it's so oh, hot but, yeah, yeah portland's definitely better vibes for that. oh so yeah like, yeah but yeah, um, would love to go out there and IRL meet you. Keep me posted. I'll be Maybe. around. And yeah. hopefully, I mean, I try and go to, like, I have a friend in Seattle, so it's not that far from Portland, so I don't no, know. It's like, I've been missing uh, the PNW, you know? I miss just the West Coast. I mean, the yeah. Northern West Coast. I don't care for LA, but, like, Honestly, from San Francisco uh, up, like, yeah. Humboldt, oh, like, I literally, like, I would die to just like live on the coast in Humboldt, but it's also just like too rural for me right now. Maybe when yeah. I'm like 70, I'll retire up there, but. Yeah. And also I think there's something to be said about the massive earthquake that's supposed to hit. Ah, the big so, one, the big yeah, one that we've the been big waiting one. for for the big uh, one. many years. Yeah. A few hundred years overdue on that bad boy. So, so anyway, I'm like, no. part of me is like, oh, I want to live on the coast, but then the rest of me is like, eh, I don't know if I really want to drown that bad, but maybe who knows the coast property will be here you get something so. get something like further up and then after the earthquake you'll be right on the waterfront that's what i'm thinking yeah for, for half the price probably a third you know exactly price. instant beachfront property just like that thanks natural Genius. disasters <laughs> it's the best oh we love global warming <laughs> honestly love i love it i really wish we just bumped it up more like can it be hotter please you want 110 in Portland. That's what Please, you're Please quit teasing me with this 100 oh, degree God. stuff. I can't believe it's going to be 100 there. That's terrible. It That's was like 100 actual. like a few weeks ago and it was pretty fucking rough. But I would yeah. like, I just kind of laid on the floor all day and it's just like, Ugh. sounds about right. That's, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's like then, me on here. I'm like AC yeah. on, chilling. I got like frustrated with work. So I was like, I'm going on a run. So then I went and ran. And I like was doing sprints up this hill in 100 degree weather. And I'm like, this is in- unadvisable, but I did feel like a lot better when I got done. Oh. I was like, oh, I feel so relaxed and so chill. I feel Sweat dead. Out all the like, <laughs> yeah, just like all of the frustration was just gone. Frustration, all your water, you about yeah. to pass out. Yeah, yeah. I think that was <laughs> tied to the water, was the frustration. You're like, time for yeah. a cool shower and water, and, and you yeah. feel better. You're like, good to great. go. Good cleanse. to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cleanse. Palette cleansed totally but yeah thank you again so much i do appreciate oh, it uh sure. i'll try and get this edited sometime. okay 
whatever, whatever. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not pressed about it. I'm, whatever. I'll be happy. To see I it. know like, you've, you've been really putting a lot of pressure on me. Okay. So Unbelievable I'm, pressure. You're I'm, like, I'm, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying. I've got so much to do. I swear. I know you got a lot of projects going on, so Just I'll so see when I see it and you know, whatever. But I'll, I'll shoot you a link to it first. So you can like be like, oh, this is good or bad and then yeah you made me look terrible <laughs> yeah I'm just, it's just gonna be me staring at your plant the whole time it's just you, you, you crop me out you, yeah you muffle everything i say yeah Love it. just the Perfect. the peanuts voice rah, 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 rah. yeah rah, rah, rah. she yeah. nothing to say anyways gatekeeper <laughs> <laughs> classic but good to meet you yeah you too we'll obviously interact more so yeah you know and I might bother you for this again after, like, when you get done shooting the Spotmatic, I would be curious to get, like, a little update on that. What you yeah. I mean, I'm around. You have my email now, so Perfect. send me a link. Just... I'm in the Zoom. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Logging on now. <laughs> I'll give you a little bit more of a heads up than that, but yeah. yeah. All right. Well, have a good rest of your day. Yeah. You Stay too. Cool. Yeah. You too. Yeah, I'm going to try. That I got to go super... bake some cinnamon rolls, so that'll be. That sounds great, though. Super I have to go to get dog food at the store. So that's really expensive now, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And I, I get it in 94 degree heat. So God, that's what I get for having a dog, huh? Gotta yep. feed her. Totally worth it though. What a cutie. I mean, yeah, it's totally. not too bad. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> All yeah. right. Well, I'll talk to you later. All right. See ya. Bye. Bye.